All right, welcome to the Sebe cast number 17 with Jack or Hello. Jack RS or Iron Equity. Jack, what up? Just chilling, Sid. How about yourself, man? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, you know, just I decided for this, um, you know, Sebe cast, I would honor you i don't know if this is exactly honoring you but i decided to do <laughs> some corp and if we pull the ellie and we, we pull the ellie you know so so i'll be doing is this all you still need from corp is the ellie i needed an ellie in our and an arcane and i guess a jar of spirits now too oh jar don't remember the jar <laughs> yep rip the jar how does that feel by the way that you still need a night need a jar and they're good memes <laughs> but i'm not too rude about the jar were you like Oh, a jar is coming out. That'll be like fine. Like I'm still hunting an Ellie, and then you literally get the how? How many kills after like the jar was released did you get the Ellie? Uh, I believe it was 47. It was literally the day after. Jeez, little. So literally, literally the day after. <laughs> so you did corp. When did you start the corp grind? Uh, you mean like officially going for it? All, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Side, I guess, I guess official. Or let's okay. Tell me this: When did you officially start going for like the Ellie? I guess, or just grinding corp in general? And um, what was the case that you started on when you like officially decided that this is what you were gonna do? Uh, it was around about March last year, so pretty much when we had you know the global lockdown with COVID and stuff. Okay, and I was around twenty three hundred KC, so I did around. Just shy 10,000 kills since then. And what did you have at that point at 2300? I had. I think, I think it's two Akins, a Spectral, and a Pet. Okay. Wow. So your luck was great at that point. You're like chilling. I mean, I mean it was a slow start. It took me 12 for the first one back in the day. Oh, geez. Okay. But <laughs> like at that point, you felt pretty confident. Like this ain't going to take that long, right? Maybe 5,000 kills total. Like. That's what I would assume. I mean, I mean, my personal guess was 7k was a good number if we got that dry. Yeah. <laughs> that was basically what cared for back then. And yeah, boy, did that not last. Okay, so for those that don't know <laughs> the whole thing we're talking about, uh, Jack literally got his Ellie, uh, what was it, like f a week ago? Not even a week ago? Uh, a week and a half ago now. Okay. Wow, okay. Time flies. It, was, it feels like uh, three days ago. Last Thursday, so. Okay. So. 11 days ago. 12 days ago. Yeah. So he pulled his Ellie 12,000 what, KC now? 47. 12,047 KC. So oh, nearly three times rate. Like just right on the hair of three times the rate. And that is just <laughs> so awful. But um, so you're definitely like, for those listening, this is the man. If you, if you want to learn how to grind and you want to learn like <laughs> how to motivate yourself to do something, this is the... This is the cast for that. So, <clears throat> um, Jack, would you go into like your origin story? I guess I call it origin story because, like, ever since I had BC Guppy on, he just calls it that. So, what got you into the game? <laughs> when, now. Yeah, like, when did you start old school as a kid? I'm assuming you played as a kid. Um, will you just kind of go into it briefly, or not even briefly? Just, just send it, man. I mean. I'm trying to. I have a very vague memory of playing classic way back, but it was more like some rem remembering that I'd died to a goblin. That's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> that was my experience of classic from what I remember back in the day. I just couldn't okay. run away, and I remember dying. And then obviously mini clip was a thing in like 2005, 2006. Where obviously the popularity just really shot up. Oh yeah. Back in the day, and that's kind of when I rediscovered the game. When everyone in school just started playing it, you could see everyone playing it in all the IT rooms. It was kind of everyone got their uh, like second win of playing the game. So obviously, I played. I kind of the exact year I originally played, like back then. I don't know if Classic was something I actually did or not. But I remember switching to the game fully around 2005, and then fully returning in 2006, and I kind of been playing on and off since then. Wow. Also, a different story there. I haven't really took a break off that game. <laughs> Quite literally. So, um, wait. So, yeah. Did you play old school as a main initially? No, I, I only knew about old school when I started watching uh, Iron Man streams. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try that. Oh, so you had like not even played old school at that point? You just saw something? No, I, I, 
I came back after a break in 2011. Wow. So I knew nothing of like RuneScape until 2015 when I started seeing streams. Okay. I said 2015, it was late 24 and I found Bowie's Christmas stream where he was playing, I think it was Rune like and stuff like Old Brothers and his dad and stuff. And it was just a fun stream to be part of because it was just them all drunk on Christmas. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I okay. Kind of looked around and then decided to make an account. So you months after that. Literally your first experience, your only first and only experience is an Iron Man on this game. That was the plan. Wow. Okay. I just didn't see myself being able to play like a min again because that was kind of why I burned out of the game before. Yeah. The whole <laughs> GP grind and it, it just didn't feel to me anymore. So do you like drop dupes or anything or do you just hoard everything? I'm none as a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you've dropped? Like, I mean, like big things that you've dropped over to people or just do you the just... The thing I can mention is probably just somewhat valuable like lower tier clue items that I just couldn't give my bank anymore. Okay. But I kept everything above hard clues. So I still have everything from those clue grinds. Wow. But, like old, medium, and easy items I had to get rid of dupes of. And I you just couldn't stay in the bank anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have uh, like all your scrolls and everything. Like your uh Yep, still got all the scrolls. I didn't mind if they crashed in price, so I just wanted them for collection. Yeah. Well dang. I mean, yeah, there's no real use for the GP if you're just gonna play that account. That's something I've always it's not like I've regretted it, but there is a little part of me that kind of wishes I had never dropped anything. That's easier said than done, though, because, like, I mean, now we have the POH rework where you, you can, can now store everything. Yeah, so store it's... everything and, like, anything and everything. Like, literally, you can have, you could store all your dupes, even. Like, just, like, I, I initially... I come as well. Yeah, like, I initially thought, okay, maybe if you could store one, that's fine, so it doesn't make us all hoarders. But, yeah, at this point, <laughs> you can literally just store all of your dupes, so... I guess I'll see you have a slightly different role with that since they can only stole one of them. Oh, really? Yeah, after watching the Lord do his uh, clue thing the other week. Interesting. He had to go check his house to see if he had it or not, and they said, you can't store another one as the equals for Iron Man. Wow, so interesting. The, uh, edge pool table. I did not know that. It hurt to see him drop all those items, man. <laughs> but he had no other choice, I guess. Okay. If, if, could, if not, it's on the floor. So what do you, uh, I, I honestly, I'm curious, like, what do you think about Ultimates being able to, like, even store anything? Like, uh, I don't know, like, sometimes I, I'm not qualified to talk about this, but, like, yeah, I, I had to say, I'm not really, like, an Ultimate <laughs> to really probably say anything on this. Like, yeah. I almost want to play an Ultimate just so I can get some sort of, like, educated insight on things, because I feel like Ultimate at this point is just a tedious version of normal Iron Man, like... You can store so many things, and you can have, like, I don't know. That's how I feel. And can't you store? I don't know how ultimate is, and I guess you're not the real person to ask, but, like, can't you? Well, here, let me just ask. Can you store individual, like, for example, just a sure pieces, or do you have to complete the full thing before putting it in? You can store them in now with the updates to the POH, but you can't take them out until it's a full set. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So gives you a warning saying you will not be able to set this out until you complete the set. Okay, that Which makes sense. Which I think sense. is why I remember who it was. It might have been Shen uh, shenanigans. I'm pretty sure he used to carry one piece of his ancestral because he couldn't store it otherwise and couldn't use it again until he got the other piece. Okay. But I can't remember if it was him or someone else, but someone did that and they kept their intentional piece of ancestral on them to use until they got the set finished because otherwise they couldn't withdraw it anymore. Interesting. Okay. So they could start for a bag, like a you know a bag slot, but then that's it. They can't get it back until they finish it. Yeah, that's insane. Okay, no. so what, um, like, did you ever imagine you would get to this point on your Iron Man when you first started? Were you playing? Were you playing with this intention to just go as far as no. possible? My original plan to come back was just to do Slayer. That was my, my <laughs> thing to do when I finished work was just to chill and do some Slayer. And also within six months, I'd got nine nine on the account, and I was already rank one for Iron Man. Wow. Okay. But obviously, that was a time when there was basically no Higgers and stuff around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beast and Slayer. So or I there was, was but they were all fishing and stuff. They were all doing their other stuff. They were, yeah, they were prepping and yeah. everyone just died rising. Yeah. Like, I still have, like, old photos of, like, the old high schools back then. Oh, yeah? Ooh, like, maybe we maybe we want to see some of those in the description. Or if you have them, like, pulled up already, we could just show a couple OG screenshots if you'd like to. 
And they've uh, got one of when I was last rank one, so you can see all the old names that used to be up there. Yeah, let's see it. Can you post yeah. it in the Discord? Yeah, so I'll quickly find it. Um, so was Curtis like around this time? Did you watch Curtis at all? Oh yeah, I used to love watching Curtis's streams. I used to watch him when he went for the jetpack. So that was, was back when I was first time I am pretty much. Was that like a motivational uh, player for you? Because I'm a, I mean, he's all he he and you remind me of each other. Where you just guy, you guys are relentless on your grind. You just <laughs> grind, grind, grind until you get the thing you need. No, I I really expect Curtis to actually commit to all the things he does on this game, like genuinely. Yeah. I'll say I'm not as lucky as him when it comes to certain grinds, but that's just how the game goes. Yep. Yep. So I'd love yeah. to think where I could be if I actually had some good luck in this game. But... <laughs> Yeah, hey, okay, yeah, so for those that don't know, what are what have been your longest grinds? Let me pull this up. Oh, yeah, we do got some names I'm looking at. Any of them you recognize from the old days? Like a couple of them are still there that I, I would recognize. Also, Guppies up there. I'm 13th at the time. Oh, yeah, there's PC Guppies. Cyrus, Aller, Flynn, Cub, Swaffle, old days as well. Lel Out, Leslie, OG Iron Man. <sighs> Sig, whatever happened to him. Yeah, it does. IRL stuff busy with, I guess. Wow. Yep. Yeah, that that was the last day I was rank one before you and me took me over. And he was a UIM, like a one defense UIM who was just beast and slayer. So I just thought, yep, yeah, let him have it. Dang. So that was a very casual play back then. I wasn't able to really compete any much further than that. Yeah, so what was what was the date then? Like what what uh... Because 26 mil Slayer, Jesus. That was Maybe pretty impressive. Was on that. I think it was... Well, I can gather I think it was September 2016. Okay. Wow. So, just <laughs> like, five years ago. Five like, years ago. Yeah, I'm trying to... So I made this account. Wait, you said September of 2016? Yeah, September 2016 was when it was like last modified. Okay, so I started playing this game like midway through. Or I guess a little bit earlier but midway through 2017 is when i started this account so yeah that's just like ancient to me yeah thanks <laughs> <laughs> that was so, so that was like literally right before hardcore iron man release yeah, like things like a year a before hardcore, of... wasn't it? i think was hardcore 2017 like no I th no hardcore was 2016 was it really yeah it was the end of 20 it was like november 2016 i mean i really it's been a while like that game month then because 2016 was also Winter Todd, right? That was the year of Winter Todd. I have to. Okay, yes, it had to have been Winter. Yeah, Todd. I, I, flipped, I flipped that memory lane for that one. Yeah, I just, I just remember day one when it's with everyone dying. <laughs> That's all I remember. That everyone was just getting stacked out. I was a main <laughs> account no, no, when no, Winter. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I was a main account when Winter Todd was released, and I remember like my first loot crate had like five Snapdragon seeds in it, and I'm like, oh, they were so broken in the first <laughs> I'm like, uh... I missed out on like the super broken tables back then, girls at work at the time. Oh yeah, yeah, it was well, only out for like a day or two, right? Like the super busted. It wasn't, it wasn't that. It was like a couple hours before they fixed it. Oh, okay. It was still, it was still really good, obviously afterwards, but yeah, also compared to what they are now, it's definitely not as OP as it used to be. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I I jumped on that that area as soon as the uh, update happened. Helps me towards max. I'm not complaining. Yeah, I mean, shit. There's always this is like the thing with RuneScape is like there are nerfs. Or, okay, so there's like extremely abusable broken content, but they're oftentimes nerfed so it benefits the player that you know played more in the past. But then there's always going to be updates that are basically devaluing past stuff so it's like runescape in general how i see it is this game is constantly evolving there is no real way to like accurately predict what's gonna happen no. um and like just for example zora zora was extremely good like it had an amazing drop table i never got to do that i had i have only ever killed zora on this account with the old table or with, sorry, with the with the new one that's currently I mean, out. In fairness, I chose not to do Zora back in the day, so I didn't experience it either. Really? I had a goal to max the account without using Zora because that was the meta back then, and I wanted to just not do Zora to see if I could do it. Damn. So I had no way of getting pure essence properly apart from Slayer. <laughs> Damn. I was, I, was, I was still one of the first to max even without Zora. So I just abused it back in the day. What did you do? Wyverns or what? No, I just I just kept doing Slayer. Like and it just passively added up over time, so I had enough to 
obviously once Saya came out, I could just push through and get Runecraft and done through that. That's insane. And I'll see. You know, I like my Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your I'll current look. Slayer XP? I know you've been working on Corp forever, so it's been on a huge it's, pause. It's only 50.3. Okay. Like, it, it's... I know I've doubled it since 2016. That's yeah. how long it's been said it's Slayer for. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said before, in terms of the longest grinds I've had, obviously Ellie's the number one right now. I say right now because that could easily change with Nightmare. <laughs> God help me on that one when I do that grind. Please, no. <laughs> Someone's got to do it eventually. I, f I feel like you're going to... I everyone, don't... Says I'm gonna, everyone says I'm going to spoon something. It never happens, sir. Right. It never happens. <laughs> no, I feel like you're going to... Like, okay, wait. Do you, you don't... I don't know if you plan to solo or not. Do you plan to do, like, teams or just solo the whole it way? Really, it really depends how I find solos. I've heard they can be very... Horrible? Yep. Yeah. Or what? <laughs> you're, you're with that mine. <laughs> <laughs> just nightmare in no, general. I've heard, I've heard that can be, like, a real... Just, like, accent on the brain trying to focus that one all the time. Yeah, it's bad. If you I'm have a very late back kind of person for the most part. It, I don't know if you have blood uh shards available. I don't know if you've done any like blood shard thieving. I'm kind of waiting to see if they do the Akis spellbook rework still. Oh, all okay, the spells okay. that was mentioned was to buff thieving by 25% like succession right. And that'd be very nice for Vias since they are an absolute pain to thieve. Oh yeah. Horrible. Even with necklaces you still feel like 50% of the time at 99. It's yeah, horrible. It's, it's bad. The Arcaea spell looks really good. It keeps, their, it keeps their value high, but like that's so horrible to do. Yeah. Now I'm currently hunting my next blood shard through thieving, and I'm like 3,700 pickpockets in. Obviously, it's a one in 5k, so it's like I'm, I can't even complain, but it's already just horrible. <laughs> it's just like six. You go think it's been like one in 2,500 infectedly since you get two of them with rogues. Yeah. So well, yeah. Technically, it's one in 2,500 for yeah. one, but yeah. Um, yeah, I said, apart from the Ellie, it was the t -Bear. That was my next dry grind before that. Yeah, so how how much... You were over... Were you over three times raid for Tebow? It's hard to say since I didn't do everything solo. Like, I did about... Put around 1,700, 800 slots. Dressed more like trailers and scale teams. So I don't know how dry I really was in the end. I'd say at least two to three is a good estimate, though. Yeah, that's what I'd guess. Probably towards three. I did miss seven of the known teams, which didn't help. That really was a bit of a blur. So it, but you know, but you know, one of them went to my good friend Ultimate Low. So, <laughs> so you know, I, I was grinding went after that. So literally a Tebow and an Ellie, you have gone dry for like arguably the like longest. I mean, it's not even arguable. It's like genuinely like the longest grinds. Yeah, um, we're on we're on four thousand hours for both. And a Tebow, I'm pretty sure is now. Don't quote me on this, anybody, but I'm pretty sure a Tebow is like 350 hours on average. It's, it's around that to 400, yeah, give or take, depending on the points and time you're doing solos and stuff. Okay, because yeah, then you go to Nightmare and you realize, like, especially if they, I'm assuming they will at by the time you start grinding Nightmare, they will have like adjusted alting mechanics so you can't i mean not like you alt anyway for those that don't know yeah. jack never alted corp i mean yep. i'm not gonna <laughs> I, i'm not gonna speak for you but i don't think you ever alted corp and uh yeah that's no. also uh, that's just disgusting <laughs> thank you <laughs> um but yeah if they update um I died at Corp. I'm like a little. I'm like trying to. I'm trying to maneuver my inventory right now. I, like, God no, damn. I'll be, great. I'll be great for the video to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have to pay 250k every time you die. Like God damn it. Hey, what do you risk? With, oh, you're with, you're not risking inquisitors and everything. Oh else. yeah, it's mine was, like, mine was like 76k with protect item on. Wow. Yeah, I'm not even using protect. Maybe I should. I should probably. I would definitely protect. advise it if you can. <laughs> and that saved me a lot of extra death cover money though, because I died a lot. Yeah, well, this is for today. I mean, I'm this. I have, for those watching and wondering what I'm doing right now, I have not given up on the nightmare grind. I just figured this is an ode to, uh, ode to Jack. Yeah. yeah, in terms of like the nightmare stuff, I'll probably do mostly teams. I think to start with, if I want to do a solo or two, I'll look into it and I'll see. I know I can ask for advice if I need it. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll be done by that point when I get there. <laughs> we'll see, because nightmare is actually like horrible there are three 600 hour items on there so i mean
Oh, Malcolm knows. It doesn't bode well for me. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> imagine just going, you know, even just three times the rate for one of the items, which is still bad, but it's it's easy it's easy to have happen if you go three times the rate of one of the orbs. Like yeah, it seems to come thousands of hours of grinding. Yeah, that's be- that right there becomes eighteen hundred hours of nightmare. It ain't corp where you get to just sit for five minutes. It's like legit just switching prayers every single six ticks. That's why I said I don't think I could do any solos. I don't think I could just focus that long constantly. It's pain. I just don't like what people like you and Lake can do with that stuff because bleh, not to me. <laughs> I just have to do it because, well, thing is I don't have to do it, um, but it always felt like just the most efficient way. Like this was going to save me the most time and especially like it'll, it would save, it would give me peace of mind knowing I'm not like seeing people get maces left and right and me just sitting there. Like, yep, I, I can realize that with my T-Bows, I know it feels. Yeah, wait, oh yeah, how many T-Bows did you ever see? Uh, seven more that I'd miss. <laughs> All of them going to one person. <laughs> I don't know if you know who, who, who was uh, that? Gary is. Uh, parkour. Iron Parkour. Oh, Iron Parkour. Didn't he get hacked as well? Or... <laughs> he lost two of them and got two of them back again afterwards, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So it's I, a saw little... get one, I saw him get one pre-hack and I saw him get the two after his hack. So yeah, he... that was... Uh, that's fun. He's he's literally BF Rocket, right? Like loses yes. his what, three T bows and, and whatnot, and then gets another like five or something. Just... I think he got about like within a week, like the T bow. Jesus. I'll be happy for him though, because he's one of my longest friends I've had on old school. Yeah. You know what? In fact, I have a memory of you two. Um uh we did we did a team raid long time ago, probably probably See? early twenty eighteen. Is my guess. Must, must, must have been Swaffle Days, though. Yeah. yeah so you'd yeah. always run the map, though, as if it was one of those. Yeah, yeah. You both you both had a dragon full helm, and I was yeah, just... I still have mine. I was, like, I was like nutting yeah. over it, because it was just so amazing. Like, that was, like, the iconic old... Like, that is, like, an impressive Iron Man item to get, in my opinion. Still is. Yeah, and I still get yours alive, which was a good yeah. thing to see. Yeah, no, so that was like, and oh yeah, and that was when you, when I think you first saw my stream back then. I don't know if you had already been lurking. That was, but... around, the, that was around the time, I think yeah, it was like early 2019-ish, mid-2019, I think you got the drone form. Yep. So I'm trying to think also, because longer for you was like a few years ago at the most. Yeah, it was September, okay. it was like August or September of 2019 that I got mine. Yeah, and... I think I found you for one of my friends, and that was when I found out oh, this guy grinds. Yeah, <laughs> and that has been like nothing of a grind. Like that took me a week, but like, yeah. Then I you complain out about the same. I wasn't much like different with that. Yeah, like I got mine like half the rate. It was a little bit over half the rate. I, think... I never had an official count for mine because I never used to track them back in the day. I think mine's around eighty-ish. Okay. For my my drum form, so I was definitely not complaining. One of the few times I can say I've been lucky on. Yeah, mine was like a hundred and it says on the tracker a hundred and nine is when I got it. I did a hundred and like thirty something. I had extra bones, but hundred and nine and then I think I had like five before the counter or something. So it was basically like exactly half or eight. A little bit under, but yeah, that was like one of my first grinds I camped for pretty much. Yeah. That was a first fun was what do you what do you think about the Dragon Full Helm grind? I'm just curious because honestly that was such an enjoyable grind. Maybe it was enjoyable because I got lucky, but like I don't know, I, I found Mythful's really chill to kill, like genuinely. Yeah. I used to stop power of the tube guns for the streams. So. Although disappointingly the one time I did fifty, I got nothing for it. Ooh. And I thought, okay, I'll save ten after that and literally the second one of the next ten I got it. So that's like, awesome <laughs> i kind of do 50 again kind of thing. I, I will say i think mithril dragons are one of those like um they're sort of like not updated to par i feel like i feel like it's one of those uh yeah, things I think, that... I think reddit i think reddit's mentioned this before like they compare them to like rune dragons they're very similar in terms of like what they could be like yeah so and that's why and i don't think the normal loot should be changed i just feel like um well first of all i feel like the noted mithril bars should be activated at all times, not even just on task. That's my opinion. And then I also just think the chewed bone loot. That's the only thing I'd want to change is the chewed bone loot. I feel like that would be cool to have like actual good loot come from there. But yeah, but you could also argue also that's why it keeps the dragon form at a premium price though, because it's really recovered since obviously they removed it from was it Brutal Blood Dragons back in the day? Oh yeah, that was such a that thing, stupid that thing, that thing really That, thing that really was crushed. so stupid of Jagex to ever do. 
but uh yeah um yeah, and it recovered so and, it, it at least bounced back from that yeah this is me like with a dragon full home and i'm still i i am an advocate for just buff those pyres a little bit because when you get like a two oh, yeah, some, the loot's are terrible. When, when you get a two dose barbarian like no i think it's a one dose a one dose barbarian <laughs> potion from a chewed bone like jesus dude like oh like six silver bolts <laughs> yeah like jeez like this is old school man it's like it's like killing um I always think of killing like the black demons back in the day when you go into like uh, Neve's dungeon and you're getting ash and like 15 GP and like a black yeah, soul, remember, black axe. Old, just, like, yeah, I remember the old black demons. That was fun. Like those are old school. Like that is like old school loot. Like it, it brings back like. Things a lot of people want new monsters to have that kind of drop tier, but then they realize how bad it actually is. Yeah. My yeah. nightmare was a good example of when it first came out where the loot's were. I said I never killed it, but I heard they were very bad to start with. Yeah, like it, the regular loot. It definitely is bad. Um, I it, also it's better than it used to be, but it's still, you know, not amazing. Yeah. Also, you'll know since you kill it very often. Yeah, but I still feel like um, there's like a balance. I could like, I don't know what the balance is like optimally at but there is definitely a balance where um like how do you feel like your supply return is like from doing nightmare also you can drop like things like prayer potions brews sharks and whatnot yeah the thing is with nightmare is when you solo it you're getting the same amount of supplies as you would in a five man so five mans are loot wise you getting you're getting basically five times as much loot if you do five mans because they're yeah, scaling just more more. As well, you can kill it much faster yep uh the thing with nightmare is like you spend so many supply well i guess if you use a scythe and like a sang and stuff you're spending a ridiculous amount of money just like getting a kill like i spend about 500k raw gp a kill yeah i know she dropped the sang from my saw in like one of the most recent streams oh no i don't even have i i've never used a sang at nightmare i don't oh, have yeah, one she never used it to begin with i've never had one i, I still don't have a sanguine sd that is the last yeah. thing i'm missing I oh, didn't realize that. Yeah, nobody, like, literally, everyone's like, why aren't you using your Sang? I'm like, I've never had one. I wish. In fact, it's probably a good thing I didn't have a Sang because. Well, you don't, you, you yeah. left. <laughs> Just a stupid <laughs> amount of blood runes, and it's like something I've been able to do without, so. I mean, how many charges do you normally use a kill for um, the Trident? So, Trident. Trident, you use about 95-ish a kill, I'd say. I'd say it's about 30-ish casts a phase. That's not terrible, I guess. Yeah. Although that would definitely add up with a Sang across a couple thousand kills, though. Yeah, Sang's about... I think Sang's about 90, and I think a Harmonized Staff's about 80 on average. Um, and then a Scythe, I use about 200 and, like... Probably about 220 to 240. Probably like average 230 uh, swipe swipes a kill. So we're looking at like 700 and like 700 blood runes a kill. Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah, then just perk and that and that's like not even counting the deaths. Like I'll die phase three where I've already used like 600 bloods and then it's like all those bloods are gone because I died. That is. I'm, like, I'm dreading the day getting a swipe to be honest. Dude, my dude. luck. Oh, it's pain, dude. It's agony. But uh, uh, if you have any plus one for top, you know I always am when it comes to yeah. time. I don't plan to do any top uh, anytime soon, just simply because I don't need to. Like, I, I'm. So I don't, I don't plan to do anytime soon. Either, so it's fun. Yeah, I was waiting for like so. So last cast, I was talking to Lane, and she had mentioned a bunch of things on like CM Tob when that ever comes out, and. Honestly, it would be a good thing to like, it would be a good thing in my opinion to just, I don't know, have a saying left to go for when T for when the, whatever, like the TOB CMs come out. What do you think it actually be if they did a challenge mode version of Tom? Since it's obviously a very linear kind of like red. Well, what, what could they do to make it like more difficult apart from just scale it up higher? Saw Kid, uh, shout out Saw Kid. Um, he made a video of what his idea of TOB is. It was a big, like, just huge, 
huge plan. It was like a 30 minute video explaining what his uh, version of challenge mode TOB Ooh. would be. But me personally, like, I don't really care what they do. They could do whatever. They could just make it so supply, you can't use supply bring chests. Bring, That's bring, a... bring, 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 bring about the old supply chest. Yeah. Oh, just like just, just remove them. What you get. Yeah. Just remove them is what I would say for challenge mode. Like, you have to do with what you bring in. And I think I think all people could probably manage that if they're experienced enough with Tom. Yeah, and that's the thing. They'd have to do something else because it's not really that tough to do. But yeah, shout out Saw Kid. He has a little video. Maybe I'll link it. Um, yeah, I'd like appreciate that. Ramble or something. But I could even link it like below this video for the uh, the cast. Maybe. Yeah, no, for real. He had. He's just a ton of different stuff. Like it's just like it's uh, almost overwhelming. But he's pretty passionate about it. So. Um. But yeah, like I feel like I should just wait to get a sang until like CMs come out. And also combat achievements. Now, did you read the blog about like the equipment rebalancing? Did it come out yesterday? Yeah. No, I saw that I saw that post in one of my Discords, but I haven't actually checked it out. It's just literally just saying like <laughs> they're still waiting, basically. But they're gonna get some of the equipment balancing. Like they're changing like the low tier like rune maces rune battle axes up. like they're changing all those early yeah. like within the next couple of weeks and then like everything else they're also, waiting they're the for they're like the simple changes so that won't really affect too much that it's not, you know, yeah so. i'm just um i'm nervous this is going to delay combat achievements like drastically i mean i think ash replies one on twitter about it saying it it doesn't expect it to happen to quite at least the summer now yeah so oh yeah easy somebody was whose stream was i in where they were saying it probably won't even happen this year now like yikes! <laughs> Man, I'm hoping that's not the case. We're like all so. waiting for this, and like, because I was expecting combat achievements to come out in March. That was silly of me to ever think. But back in like December, I was like, oh yeah, combat achievements will be out by March, easy. I mean, thought it was looking likely to be out around April or so. Or yeah, more. yeah. I'll say combat combat teams got pushed back because of the uh, rework stuff getting pushed back. Yeah, so that rip was kind of expected. Rip for that, but if I ever did do TOB, now is not the time. I'd wait till combat achievements comes out. Get like multiple, kill two birds with one stone. You know what I mean? I mean, one thing they will carry across to the achievements though is like PBs and times and stuff and KCs and whatnot. So that's a full carry across. That's true. That's true. So you would say it's having that effect doing that. I mean, I'm kind of dreading what the cop tests are going to be because there's five of them apparently on that like stream they did a while back. One of the corp tasks is getting Ellie. You're like, God damn it. And it's not retroactive. I'm sure they will put RNG related gold, not too much. <laughs> yeah. I no, that, sick that yeah. I don't think they're doing anything. I was Mod Arcane was saying they're mostly just anything yeah, that's KC, yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> like the KC is like really like low too, apparently. Like it's not supposed to take you months to just get a KC requirement. So I couldn't imagine Toby going back purely just for that. Because he said he had no plans to go back for that GR either. Yeah, but that would be bad. And even he still messaged me saying, oh, do I plan on going back in something I'm like, no. <laughs> so I'm curious what you think about the collection log in general. Just like, do you think that it is good that it's not retroactive? Or are you disappointed like I am that? Well, they didn't count old grinds. Yeah. Like, and they could have. And they easily. I, I love the concept of the collection log. I yeah. like that. Oh, I love it too. It does, but... it does look like all the Ryans, and I'll see people that also got grinds done much earlier on. Yeah. Like half my logs are empty, but that's Do you th part of the game. Is that so. like good? Like they easily could make it so Iron Man can use items on it. Like there is the only sure, downside sure. is it affects mains because they don't get that privilege. I'm sure. I'm sure Ash mentioned before, like from like previous things that happened years years back with glitches where some Iron Man got like. The odd one or two items that they usually wouldn't have had, they would kind of throw off. Or was it maybe Husky that said that? I can't remember who it was. It was Mod Rock, I think. Oh, Rock. I can remember if it was Husky or Ash that said that or not. But Dude, and, I feel I like mean, that's a bunch of bullshit. I'm going to be honest. Because the only, like, the, it just makes no sense. Like, what items? Like, what are they, what are those examples to? Like, nobody even knows what they're even talking about. They just say that. Like, what, what, what are some of the items that, like, were glitched or whatnot? Like, do you even I mean, know? We were around during the door in a glitch time. Where you wasn't could that like month one of Iron Man or something? Like, wasn't that like way early on? Um, I don't remember the exact date, to be honest. I think it was like 20... 
I think it was 2016 or 2017 that happened when they did the whole Dorian arena. Where, and I'll see one person forgot to uh, check if Iman could um, be affected by it. <laughs> and unfortunately, uh, like all people in this game, someone would actually look into it. So and yeah, all of them Reddit blew up with uh, people getting like ZGS on like level three Iron Man. And also, they all got immediately de ironed because obviously it was bloody obvious what they were doing. Yeah. Okay. I think the highest I remember getting banned or the iron was like 1900 spell, I think. That's, that did that. Okay. So uh, that's all I knew of. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't. I I guess I don't remember that. I I thought the dual arena thing was like early. Before your time. I think it was before your time, that. Okay. But I isn't that silly because of like. Isn't that like such a weird excuse that like because of this dual arena bug that probably most people that abused it got de ironed already? Like, do, don't you think that's, like, a silly excuse to say that's why the collection law can't be used for the other hundred, hundreds of thousands of Iron Men? Like, I don't, I don't think that would have been the reason. But, like I said, if anyone's going to know more, it'll be, you know, behind the scenes kind of thing that would know that. Yeah, I don't know. The whole thing just... I really wish the... Like, because, look, I'm, I mean, I'm showing it on my end, but I was the first Iron Man, by the way, to complete revs. And look at this shit. Nothing. Or I got 80 bracelets, I guess, but that's it. 41,000 rev kills, nothing in my log. Sounds what amounts to me like when I do revs. It's depressing. Uh, I'm trying to think where it might be. Yeah, I think it was 2015. Okay. So it was like a year after Iron Man came out, pretty much. Yeah, that was before my time. I didn't even start playing old school till September 2015. I played as a main. Main scare. <laughs> Yeah, I was the same with you. I just mains get dull after a while when you're just. I mean, mains are probably fun if you have like a real life, you know, where like you <laughs> don't play. I, mean, the game. I, I didn't. I didn't think if I played a main, I'd probably do something similar to like what Jason and all those guys do and just stack caskets. That's probably what I'd do. Oh yeah, no, that would max the account and then do clues all day and do like openings like that. Yeah, you, you, that. you'd have to. Like that's what I would have to do. I f I feel like we have a similar play style. Although I'm not the only one that's going to camp. How many spiders again are you going to camp? I mean, you say that now, but like, what what is the plan for you after you get all your stuff? Like, let's just theoretically say you've now completed TOB and Nightmare and Raids 3 still hasn't come out. Like, what's the plan? That'd be pets for me. Okay. And then what after pets? Let's say Raids 3 and now you have all pets and Raids 3 completion. <laughs> like, like, what's that? Like, eventually. Doesn't I mean I don't know how you feel, but doesn't it eventually all wind up to like getting third age, like or or am I just a sociopath? I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying anything on that one. <laughs> but like, but I mean, you know, I when... mean, to be fair, Jace finished off four point six bill, and he's literally just done pet and clues since then. So I yeah. imagine everyone falls a similar trend when it comes to that, I guess. Unless just Jace is like one example that does that after he finishes everything. Yeah. It's I mean, I guess I probably would become a clue person afterwards if I had literally nothing else to do. Yeah. The other thing is that getting clues is not the most efficient on Iron Man. Yeah. That, like a very silly kind of route. Like, I, I'd love to do medium clues, but it's just not it's fun getting them. Yeah, getting them is bad. I'm watching Curse have like 16,000 eclectic implants. I don't think I could even manage that. I've got like 700 in Trailblazer. Yeah, it's bad. Piro Piro is not fun. They should really make some... They should come out with a new Piro Piro that requires, like, quest cape and stuff. Like, just a new area in general that's just a lot easier. Like a private version of it, basically. Yeah. I just, I just want my nightmares for some clues maybe changing for Iron Man. Since I'll say everyone does the same thing when it comes to, like, mediums. I feel like those, um, those uh, Lizard Man chests in that, like, new temple... I feel like that was yeah. a way to kind of change that or like at least kind of add on to like a meta of getting medium clues. I feel like that could be buffed, honestly, like for mediums. Mm -hmm. Just make it somewhat similar to Eclectics because Eclectics are just OP. Yeah. Also, we have like our alternative for easy clues being obviously we can kill things like uh, Minotaurs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, you know, cannon things if we ever wanted to. But there's not really much for medium clues though, besides like, I guess cockatrice and stuff yeah what i guess falador guards but nobody does those and yeah Fally guards as well which i do see still still do falador Fally guards to be fair Fally guards are like the og that's what i used to do on a main back in 2015 
place you on the iron. <laughs> Those are like good times. I miss that. Um. So yeah, but like, I don't know. I feel like after everything's all said and done, it comes down to third age. Vaddy, you know Iron Vaddy, right? Mm -hmm. He is making a ramble soon. And that was like my main topic is like the final frontier of Iron Man. After everything's said and done, 4.6 bill, all pets, everything, it all comes down to third age. The actual like death grind. Long, yeah, where you grind for 50,000 hours at least. Yeah. yeah. And if I got my 1.6 to third age, I'm happy with that. Took me a long time to get one, so. Oh, yeah. You're full helm, right? Mm -hmm. That is such a sexy piece. Everyone loves the uh, the clip of me getting up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to think the mic was broken during it, but it was just because I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you ever saw the clip of it or not. I did. It was, it's been a while, though. <laughs> But yeah, I watch every clip. Any, but any, listen, guys, if you, for the people listening, um, like honestly, if there's ever anything clue related, anything third age related, you, you can guarantee a like and a retweet for me on Twitter. Like anything, like anything clue <laughs> third age related, I'm there. I'm retweeting that shit because I'm a, I'm a fan of people that, you know, do their clues and stuff. I don't think drums, um, opening was pretty damn sick. Drums, uh, that was the greatest stream of the year. Easy. The amount of times he rolled the super rare items like Mummy and Anchor, <laughs> just... <laughs> And he had no idea what he was yeah, rolling. He had, no he had no clue how rare they were at first until people started telling him. <laughs> He's like, oh, god damn it, another... Oh, Mummy, what's what's this? Okay, well, moving on, like, god damn it, dude. You have no... He got... He pulled three Anku pieces. One was a dupe, unfortunately. Yeah. But two... Also, that was a question just to get dupes of that. Yeah. Since they're so rare. Yeah, that is pretty. Uh, and he got two mummy socks, right? I think yeah. Yeah, I have two. You know what my Anku mummy is? I have two mummy gloves. And three hundred and like sixty masters. Two mummy gloves. I mean, I guess that's like fine for rate, but goddamn, the literal worst yeah. piece. And I, I have two Anku socks on mine. That's all I've got. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can barely show off. Dude, I was um. I don't know if I had told you if you're in the stream or not, but I was watching. So when I was watching uh, drum stream, I was staring at the monitor and he pulled the third age cloak and I was like <laughs> shook, dude. I was literally shook. like, you know, like the clip of him getting it where he's shook, dude. I was yeah. just like, couldn't believe my eyes watching a live opening where somebody pulls a third age is so crazy rare to see. Yeah, I remember seeing that with uh, my friend Wiggy as well when he did the 1,000 hard caskets. Oh, yeah, and he got the kite shield, right? The kite shield from a master clue. God, that's so sick. But at the same time, you could think what it could have been from the master clue roll. Yeah. You can only roll the axe and the pickaxe from those. Yeah, 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 yeah. The I kite shield's still a very accurate piece of, you know, gear like I'd say up there with Dragonfall Helm. Yeah. But the kite shield's definitely up there. I used to think that... um. I mean, now now we have the wiki and it shows all drop rates of things. But I remember thinking, like, for elites back in the day, like, the weapons were, like, you know, way more rare than the other pieces of Third Age. But, yeah, they're all just the same rate. And they're just... Yeah. Which is kind of cool. And Mimic... What would be, be your favorite weapon if you could pull one of them right now? If I could pull oh, one no. of them on my account right now, it would be the long sword because I have the kite shield and the plate body. That's the only reason yeah. why. But the bow is... Best. Yeah, the bow. The bow is so cool. The bow is so <laughs> sick, dude. It is the best standalone piece. Easy. Plus, it's the best in the slot. Yep. In some situations. Yep. I would use the third age bow for clues. Like, I would literally go around with my dragon arrows and my third age bow. Like that would I would replace that with a blowpipe. Like seriously, or I would replace the blowpipe with a third age bow. I would literally use a third age bow everywhere just for fun. It's. I could. I could probably agree on that one. It's it's the same thing with uh, if I ever pull a third age robe top, I already have the robe bottoms. I will literally retire the uh, ancestral. I will put the ancestral in the house for eternity. I will now use only third age, even though it's shittier. Uh, I literally it's you so can't yeah. you can't <laughs> not use it if you have it. You can't not use it. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I think I remember one of my friends from years back who. I think he always did Amdol literally with the range top. He never actually used his ACP. 
I always used to use would be chin skirt and the third edge top. Yeah, I would too. Like, God, it's just so clean. I love the third edge range set. I love I, it, I, dude. I, I, know, I know people aren't a fan of the coif too much, but I like the top and the bottom especially. Yeah, no, the it's top. A unique look for um, the, like the eyed. The top is so clean. It's like not even uh, symmetrical, you know? It has like that big shoulder yeah. thing. It reminds me of like Bandos by for Orange. Yeah. A little bit. And it's got that like checkered leather design. It's so fucking clean, dude. It's so clean. I'm afraid you also have seen Curtis get one of those, man. Oh, yeah. He still has one third age piece, right? I think. I know he's definitely got the, the uh, top back. I just wanted something else, but I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, that uh if for those listening, if you've never pulled a third age piece, it is like orgasmic. Especially if it's yeah. a good piece. Like if you pull a van braces, like some people I know have pulled, unfortunately. It's not that probably not that great of a feeling. But I mean, if you're an Iron Man, it's still a good feeling to actually hit third edge in general, but Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. if I don't for anyone to be fair, it's a good feeling to hit. Like I'd have been happy getting van braces if I didn't get, you know, the helmet. Yeah. It kind of sucks that you, like, the helmet is an amazing piece, in my opinion, especially for me, because I already have two other melee pieces, but, like, it sucks that you can't flex that, like, with something else, you know? Yeah, it, it doesn't really match anything, unfortunately, yeah. the full set. Yeah. But it's still a super, it, it the, the, like, the, like, icon, like, the sprite of it looks amazing. It looks so, well, yeah, like, it's, it's, old it's, school. It's a very Sparta helm kind of, like, looking thing. Yep. Like, I'd happily rep that if I could do, but like, the meta now is just a slay helm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And if you're not doing slay, it's usually the uh, the first guard or the surf. Yeah, exactly. And also, I've got like the third edge helm and the dragon full helm, so. Mm-hmm. That's why I, both, unfortunately. the helmet's cool, but I would definitely rather pull like a uh, plate legs over that, just because you can literally represent the dragon full helm instead of it, and that's still like. An old school yeah. look to use. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the one problem with my look. I usually get all the same item, like, like type. I used to so I have like multiple helmets and like multiple shields, but I can't wear them all at once because it's just the same thing. Oh yeah, I used to be a guy. I used to never be able to pull helmets. That was my issue. Is I could just never <laughs> pull helmets because even with Justicer, like I, I just I kept getting plate bodies and plate skirts just over and over and over just like stupid so i've always struggled with helmets which is weird but yeah rng be like though yeah and i can never get a i can never get weapons i go dry on weapons except for my team my tebow solidified the curse of like never being able to pull a weapon after that but <laughs> i guess you hate me for 20k tebow god damn it nah it's rng man i'm used to it yeah all right, let's get into a couple topics on Twitter. Um, thank you guys. We had a lot of topics this week, so and even with the late post, um, you know, I asked Jack on Sunday night if he'd be on it, and so thanks to Jack for being on it. Usually, I like to give people a little bit more notice, but um, first thing is coming from Black Suns, and he asks, "What is your favorite content in the game?" And then he has two more questions. Uh, what content do you think needs a rework update? And is there anything you are wanting to see in the game that isn't yet? So we'll start with the first one. What's your favorite content in the game? Well, that's a tricky one, that. Given I spend so long on like, just like one piece of content for so long, I kind of forgot what half the game's like these days. Um... That's going to be me in the next few months, just or next year. I'm still going to be at Nightmare. I forget the rest of the game. I mean, I'd say Ray's probably the most fun I've had in this game, like the original Chambers. I always had so much fun there, like just being with a few friends. That was a really good update when they made Chambers there. Okay. But it's had to, it's had to just turn down to one piece of content, because I love all the content in old school. Like, like you said yourself, doing just clues is very satisfying. It's very chill to do. Yep. And I'd have to do clues all day if it was much more viable for Iron Man to do it. Like for every tier. What do you think is the most balanced tier of clues, by the way? Like, I guess in, just... In terms of like what collects them, loot? Just everything, I guess. I mean... I guess collecting them is the main thing I'm focusing on, but... 
I mean, hard clues are pretty good for yeah. If you do like Slayer and stuff, you'll always get a lot of hard clues if you until you take time out to do them. Yeah, I kind of wish loot sound you always for all decent rates of master clues from it as well. That's true. I wish the meta wasn't to kill jellies. Yeah, that's fine. Watching Chris do that, that was uh, that's fun. Seeing him kill like forty five thousand jellies, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, stupid. It's been very satisfying to see the log. You know. Yeah, yeah. Adds that. Okay, so you... I'd, I would I'd, I'd probably go with Reds, like James Eric's probably my favorite content in old school. Okay. But the Zaggies for a lot of the ones there, it's difficult to stand down to one. Yeah. I will definitely have to say clues are just very well designed content. Very like it's very balanced what it is. You take time out of doing what you'd normally do for a chance of getting something out of it. Exactly. And I think and also the... some people think it's extreme. Exactly. And I I, th <laughs> I think clues are so good because they haven't completely fucked them yet. Like I feel like implings were a horrible update to ever come out with where uh you can now get clues from implings. And even though I don't play a main, I still feel like you know, I still play this game and so I kind of I hate that that's how like clue hunting has become where you just buy implings. Yeah, I know a few people have mentioned the idea of like they were not a fan of implants getting clues, but yeah, it's it's what's happened. Uh... Yeah. The other thing is like, and it's something that scares me because again, in a few years down the road, it'll just be like, oh, that's just what happened. But I would hate it if they ever came out with stackable clues. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on stackable clues since like the leagues and stuff. Stackable clues is the worst idea. It's like. It's worse than implings having clues, and I'm already like, it just I hate it that implings can give clues. I mean, they have it in RS3, I'm pretty sure. They have stackable clues. It's like up to like 25 or 50, isn't it? I think. Yeah, can, that's like, what I've heard. Act like a sealed thing or something. I'm not a fan of that. It makes it so you do your normal grinds, yeah, and then you do your clue grinds. Distraction, yeah. Yep, it's never, it's not a distraction anymore. It's you. Ch oh, now you've stacked up, you know, thousand clues. All right, time to grind them now. It's like. That's not I clue think, I think if they had rather than they should lock it behind achievement there it is. And have it just sort of up to a few of them for convenience if anything, that'd be it. Yeah. That's something I could probably see as a, a fair balance if they did that. Tie behind like elite diaries, you can have like a max of like three or five or something. And it scales on the tier of clue. The only way I would want stackable clues, or the only way I would accept them, is if they made it so uh the drop rate halved every single time you got a clue so like if you got a one it's like like old ecu keys so it becomes rarer and rarer yeah 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 but i'm talking like big time rare like you you pull a hellhound hard clue one in 32 or whatnot in the wilderness and then it becomes a one in 64 then a one in 128 then a one in 256 and it keeps doubling like i think that'd be a fair compromise to be fair i mean also there'll be something that will be extreme enough to cam for still lots of clues but the thing I the thing that can't work though about that is like drop tricking it, so True. like you could just keep dropping them and then you just pick them all up. So I'm against stacking clues because it's too hard to like code. Unless you, unless you unless you make it so like if you drop the clue and you get another one, it becomes the stack of the next one instead. And you can have like two of like different stacks. Yeah, it, I don't maybe know. in your will code it to be your second one. If you have it off, you can only have one of each one. They'd have, have to one of them. So you have to leave the other one still if you did that. Yeah, it's I just just don't even add it. I'm just not. <laughs> it's too much. I think this thing would be really convenient. I think it would be to have maybe be in the clues having that, like for members only. If they had something like that, because being in the clues are not a fun grind. Beginner clues are. You know why would, beginner would, clues are know, shit? I've, I've finished off the explore. Like I know how bad that is. <laughs> Dude, do you know why beginner clues are shit? It's why is that? Well, first of all, Charlie the Tramp is way too common. That. And then <clears throat> the other thing is they have made... Okay, so you know how every tier has like an equal weighting? So like easies, for example, are two through four steps with a 33% chance to be any of them. Like 33% chance to be a two-step, 33% chance to be a three-step, 33% chance to be a four-step. Mm. And, it, and it goes up to masters. And it's always the same weighting. What they did with beginners is made it so a one-step beginner, you only get 10% of the time. Yeah, I thought it seemed really rare to get one step, even though they should all be like the same chance. They should all be the same, and they don't even tell you that. They like they didn't like they, you know, they uh, release yeah, beginner clues, and then they don't tell anybody that okay, getting a one step is only ten percent of the time, and then the other two steps are 
the other two are 45 percent of the time so like that's literally the reason why you get a three-step beginner so commonly is because it's I'll basically say, i wouldn't wind up getting three steps i'm like can i please have like a one step finally <laughs> it never <laughs> happens <laughs> that alone that change alone would make beginners so much better yeah and also just to add on the favorite content one thing i i didn't mention also we spoke about but leagues i've loved leagues content since they made it really yeah it's been a nice break from the main iron when they've come out like when Twisted Leaf first came out, that was right after I got my Twisted Bow. And that was perfect time for me to actually just unwind after that. Yeah. So do you but, like it that all your progress is deleted? I don't mind. I do it for the fun. more than the progress. So it's like I'm going to be in for ranks anymore. Yeah. I just Not intentionally anyway, at least. <laughs> I will need to give leagues a try because I've never done leagues. I've never even logged into leagues on either of them. I'd say if you just want to take over from the game, it's definitely worth trying for like a week or two. Yeah, I just... also the last one was two and odd months, and I think that was purely because of the timing of it, since they couldn't really like turn it off during like Christmas holidays. Yeah, so one was you know off, which is fair enough. Like I know we mentioned before, one of my streams that we should see if it would maybe work better if it was like a one month league. That would like, be a lot better. Make it opinion. super competitive, like a much shorter time period. Yep, and people leagues is always incredibly huge for the first two to three weeks. Yeah, like the hype is I, just. I, I think eventually a one month league would be the ideal number if they can get there. It's just fun out the league that would actually work for that. Also, I... also for the Trailblazer, there was so much more content you could explore. Yeah. So obviously having a much longer one kind of justified that in the end. I completely agree. A one month would be perfect. But I said you have to balance it around the content you're able to access. Yeah. So like if the next league is a much more simplistic kind of progression, maybe it would fit a one month pretty well. I said, when you have access to like Theater of Blood, Gold Wars, Revs, Corp, all the ones, bosses, etc., etc., you, you know, you can't really fall into like one month unless something changed at all. I think if I ever did a league, I would actually be competitive. I would just skill, I think. Because I see the last league, I was seeing people like pull like tons of purples at TOB, nightmare drops. Yeah, and, stuff. Was, and I'm like, that was satisfying. <laughs> it's just like, it's fun for like the first few days. And then it's just like, eh, now you have everything. And it's like, why did I do this? Like, what, what was the reason? Like I grinded all these good items, but for what? Like now I have all the good items. Like, what do you do now? I feel like if I, I ever, said, I, league, I, I have no regrets why I didn't trouble as a league. I, I really enjoyed playing that. And it was good to be reunited with my bloodhound trailblazer leagues oh yeah you pulled the bloodhound on late re leagues one i remember that clip yeah they even know it sounds like that <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah that's cool that they transfer over league to league uh yeah i wasn't a fan of how easy like it was almost like everything was on casual mode on the last leagues which is fine because it is a casual like just you know for fun kind of whole game mode but the the whole thing where you could basically go to God Wars and never have to flick or anything and get faster kills than like sweating was like, ugh. Honestly, God Wars was so satisfying and trailblazer. Because <laughs> you could complete it all in a day, basically. Just go ham. Well, not me. I went dry there. But no surprise though. <laughs> you went dry there. It was so sad. Yeah. I was there for three days going for the Sarah Holt. <laughs> Do you have a Bloodhound in the main game? No. Okay. Unfortunately not. Yeah, that, that I like must have hurt. 30 ish mass, I think. Am I the one who would do like every clue type and not try and trade them into master clues? I want all the uniques for the log in the house anyway. Yeah, I'm same. Also, I'd love to get one full set of tuxedo. That'd be something I'd love to finish the long term goal. I want, a, five. I want a uh, full and killer full mummy set. That is the actual dream. Such a cool set. Either of them. Yeah, that's just between me and you on that one. <laughs> I go for like a more realistic time goal. You go for the extreme. Just full and Q on an iron. Absolutely. Just the most insane grind you could ever. Go. I mean, obviously third age is more insane, but like if I ever well, see an iron man with full and Q, I'm just like, geez. What would be like the average clue completion for um, a full and Q set on average? At least so 10. I imagine you've probably, probably worked, looked into this already. It's probably 10,000 uh, uh, masters. Not it, many then. <laughs> yeah, not many. <laughs> That's my guess. Because um I would imagine if you actually finish off like the elite I am Jewel Statra and then for Master Clues, right? 
Yeah, if I fully complete elites, I will now, at that point, I will start turning in for masters. But that is... A I'll see many, yeah, many, many, many years away, potentially still. Because completing elites takes like 10,500 on average. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. and, that, and if you just wanted both tuxedo sets, it's like uh, 7,300 joy. But, uh, I was waiting for that. <laughs> 7,300, I think, is full, both full tuxedo sets. But because there's a ring of nature, I'm going to just show this on my end, the elite thing. Because there's a ring of nature and a lava dragon mask, yep. those make it just that much more rare. Because these are like the same rate of guilt as gilded. Yeah, basically. they're literally such, such the same. Isn't it the same table, those ones? Yeah. Gilded has like two different tables. It's really weird. Because of the the recent update where they like the recent clue update where they added more gilded items there's like two gilded tables now like one of them's like half as rare and one of them's like twice as rare it's really weird like i the, did not know that like the gilded coif gilded van braces gilded dehyde body and stuff like those are all like half as rare as like the other one it's so weird i mean i've only been looking on, on gilded so i can't really say anything on that one i've had two pieces ever <laughs> The only gilded piece I don't have on my log is the plate legs. I really wish I'd gotten it before the log. But I am forever eternally grateful that I literally got all my third age on the collection log. If I had yeah, a third age that wasn't on there, I'd be so sad. Be like, yeah, my helmet's thankfully on there, but my gilded isn't. But yeah, yeah. that's how it goes. Yeah, you I were. Know, I, I would be able to actually like, add stuff to my collection log if we could do. That'd be cool. But so I'm you... not getting free grind and stuff. You said, like, after you don't really do hard clothes anymore, do you? Because you got your third age. No, I'm still stacking up from from Slayer's tasks again. I'm stacking okay. up slowly again. I remember like when just. I got the AI opened up 100. And, it's like 140 something hard clothes I opened up while I was doing passive, like, Slayer behind the early ground. Okay. So I, like I, I just assumed you were kind of just chilling out because you got your third age. No, I just, I just stopped doing clues. I got stuck on grinds. Yeah, okay. I lost my rank one hard clues because of going to run reds. <laughs> yeah. And then some guy decided to just camp. He's at like 9,000 now. I heard that he opened up all the caskets and never actually did any of the master clues, which would hurt if he did. He That's what he was doing initially. Now he stacks up his masters. But I'm like, dude, he, had, he had opened like 4,000 hards and hadn't done like yeah, any Yeah, I, I, heard, I heard like the first 1,000 he did that or something after that. I didn't know if beyond that. I'm like, Jesus Christ, it is like painful to hear. <laughs> so painful. Like, you can't do that to yourself, man. But, but I'm, 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 after watching Chris do 1,000, I'm very tempted to do the same passively. Yeah. I like, get 1,000 hard caskets and spend a few days open them all. That takes. You're not the elites, not the elites, the other masters from it. That takes so much dedication to stack a thousand. I the only thing I've ever stacked is a thousand easies, and that that's was one currently, that's currently one path we're working on. Oh really? I am missed out and then Tempros came out and then it's kind of slowed down since then. But yeah. I would always get a thousand to see what I get with it. Yeah, so maybe if I'm maybe if I'm streaming, just do a thousand opens and then do like twenty ish masters on average. Yeah, no, that it was an extremely fun stream, but like grinding for you know, 55 hours to get those thousand elites or a thousand easies was like, uh, it's probably if we had like alternative methods to get the clues. Yeah. The hams was chill enough, but like, Oh, uh, just once you hit, like it, it was fun. The first like 200 and then you like hit like 400 easies. And you're like, I still have 600 to go. Jesus Christ. This is painful. And what else is, what else is the friends to do for easy clues aside from Hammond? Because I don't really listen to it too much beyond like Minotaurs. Um, Venonatus, shout out Venonatus. He is a, I not Venonatus the boss, the player of Venonatus. No, I was about to say, I was going to question that there for a <laughs> second. Uh, he does gourmet implings, so he'll go to Piro Piro and get um, the both of the gourmet spawns. So someone actually does genuinely count the implings from them. Yeah, like he. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think what his way was. I think it was actually he catches an eclectic and a gourmet, and he gets both of them by the time one of them spawns. So he's basically in double implings. I'll be honest, that's pretty smart. Yeah, it's really smart. I've tried it before. It's just, it's only gets to be a pain in the ass when one of them like spawns weird. Yeah, yeah. Like they always tend to do after like a few of them. Dude, if there wasn't, if there was a, 
a new Piro Piro Bear release where they didn't ever spawn off. Oh my god, that would be the most amazing Piro Piro where they they always guarantee spawn on the like their designated tile. I was thought about at the same time though, Seda. It just requires quest cape. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it would people that use it. That's what I meant. <laughs> that would... a lot more will probably fall into the game from people that actually would probably camp them for like people to you know sell for like clue openers. That's the thing. I am. This is this is my uh, going back to the implink thing where I hated how they give clues. Since yeah. they do give clues, make all implings untradeable. Like, think about that. I, I know they're not going to do it because it's just too game changing at this point for mains. But yeah, that would have been so perfect. Like, level levels that, like, uses, like a money maker and stuff. They still could be a money maker, but they just they could just open them. They just have to open them themselves. But yeah, Sorry, it but, definitely wouldn't be yeah. as good of a money maker. I feel like Eclectic, Eclectics isn't actually bad GP an hour or something for like a man. Because there were still a decent amount of Eclectics from what I remember. Yeah. So you probably still make a good amount of money per hour from those. So you would definitely change meta for a few people like that. Yeah. Not I'm, many, obviously. It affect the few, not the many. But. I'm just not a fan of... Not a fan at all of Implings being, <laughs> being just tradable when they literally give clues. But whatever. The Actually, one since you, went around, since you went around back in the day, you won't know about uh, Mo the Wandering Trader, will you? Wait, what? It was it was an NPC they added back in 2015 oh. where you could buy a cloth from every single day for 50 GP for like a, oh, like, yeah. like a month. Wasn't it? What was his What was his name again? It was like Joe or something. Uh, Big Mo or something. Big Mo. There we go. It was Mo. That I was right. Yeah. I didn't play back then, but I remember. I was like, what? <laughs> you could literally just buy an elite every day. It was a it was a random clue. It was a random tier between easy and elite. I thought you could buy it. I thought you could like. You could. You could. It was a random one. You. Could, it would give you a random one. Oh, so you couldn't choose if it was an elite or not. No. Okay, I was under but, the impression. That's how I completed my first elite call in the end. Though it was from. Uh, Damn. It's okay. I did like sixty-eight combat or something. And that was back when they didn't nerf elites. They were up to twelve steps. They were horrible. <laughs> yeah. I think man was like. I think man was a nine-step elite, and then it got man finished on the first one thing is is people say that's horrible but i mean that's when elites actually had a good third age drop rate like uh i don't know if you listen to the bc guppy cast but bc guppy was explaining that f every single clue update that's ever come out elites get shafted like further and further like they get worse and worse because they always it's always an oversight they make it so they add new uniques and then the unique rate stays the same though so it's like third age has progressively gotten more and more rare to the point it's almost like twice as rare now it's nearly twice as rare as it was on release to get third age oh, I'll admit, i never knew that yep it is nobody knows it either which is so stupid because it's literally an oversight that jagex has done and that's why elites are so trash but like at least when re elites were first released they were 12 you know 9 to 12 steps or whatever but at least they had like a decent third age rate. They've become literally more rare over time. Um, like I said, never knew that. Yeah. Another change mark on elites anyway, but nothing from them in general. But yeah. Yeah, I've done a thousand fifty elites. I've never had third age from elites. Yeah, you you shot right past me on elites when you started camping for them. Oh yeah, no, I'm a I'm a huge fan of elites. I just wish they'd. I need to get Husky on the cast so I can like say my agenda <laughs> to him because I know he. I think he'd do something about it. Right, <laughs> and I'm still pretty high ranked for elites. I'm on, I'm nearly still front page overall for elite clues. I'm on 659. And that's yeah. just all passively done over time from like reds and stuff. Yeah, which I think isn't bad. So I've not ever camped for them. Yeah, if you ever camp for them, you could easily fly up because it takes it only takes about 80 minutes on average to get and complete an elite. I mean, I would I do plan going for the spider pet at some point, so I may see you there a couple times. Pray you go dry, dude. That is the best pet to go dry on, in my opinion. I know what's going to happen. I'll get on my first trip. <laughs> nope. That's my kind of luckiest pets. Yeah. You go That's like... Pet pet look like pets. <laughs> That's awful. Yeah, I feel bad for people that get their Seractus pet really early. Just like, ah. Uh, like, right. I don't mind that they've camped in KQ for the wines. And I'm not exactly drawing the pet or anything yet, but I can see myself getting it before the drop rate. Yeah. Seragnum is really nice though. Like it honestly has pretty good drops. Like there are some yeah. really noteworthy drops on the Seragnus table. One of them is you get a crystal key every hundred kills, which is just nice. 
and then you get grubby keys every like 16 or 20 kills or whatnot and that gives more crystal keys and the reason i'm talking about crystal keys is just because of that dragon stone armor set i was about to say what your thoughts are on, on getting that set the set is ugly as fuck but i really want the set for completion's sake isn't it just like a slightly um old school like version of like an r3 rune armor set or something i think so i never remind, played like the helmet the helmet reminds me of it yeah the whole set looks so gross it looks actually just disgusting <laughs> i have two pieces of it i have the helmet and the plate body not bad i've opened like 15 chests so far. i'm not anything yet but i'm not really complaining yeah i've opened like f- almost 600 i think so i am stacking up crystal keys to be fair i've got a few of them up now yeah, Seracnus is a mate. Like the my goal for Seracnus is going to get me roughly like five thousand crystal keys. I mean, that's just from five hundred thousand Seracnus. You get five thousand crystal keys, and just five hundred thousand, no, no big, no big deal. At all. <laughs> yeah, just five year grind, ten hours, at least ten hours a day, every single day. It's not that bad. I'm not gonna lie, when you fight at ten that grind, looking on the high scores, you're gonna be way ahead of anyone else. Oh, it's going to be disgusting. If I look at the medium clue table right now, it's like 103,000 per first, and it's like 60k. <laughs> Just the gap between like the next person is going to be ridiculous to look at. That's going to be... I hope that's me with the leads, too. Actually... You already ranked three, aren't you, I think, for Sorachnos? Yeah, on the mains, yeah. That's, that's nuts. And uh, I... I say I hope that it'll happen to elites as well, but I honestly want competition. Apparently, there's a guy... A main that's going for elite completion now. Like he really wants that. I'm not sure who it is. Somebody would have to say in the comments who it is. But apparently, there's some guy that's going to be like forking out a bunch of money. Others, oh, how they're able to sustain that? Because that's going to be extremely expensive. I remember when Casey was doing it for like Master Clues. Yeah, my GP that got sunk on Dragon Influence. It's disgusting. Yeah, I think. Uh, I'm trying to think of what the price is. It was like 50 bill if you wanted to complete if you wanted uh, to complete elites or something or i don't even th- let me think let me think real quick so it's 50 it's 15 mil in elite on average because it's 300k times 50 so that's horrible 15k or 15 mil and then multiply that by 10,000 wait is that 150 bill <laughs> wait uh, sounds like it. Yeah, that's 150. <laughs> okay, wait, well, should yeah. Okay, 150 bill. That's not that much, right? Just, just go all in on the dual arena like nine times. You'll make enough. Isn't it like enough to buy like two more because we're just demonic thrones? So. That <laughs> probably. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> just for a comparison, isn't that literally demonic thrones like value? Two and a mole, like two and a mole destruction. Probably. I. It's pro. Honestly, that probably costs more to. Isn't it like a demonic throne alone, like twenty mil or something? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think of ninety nine. It costs that much. I don't remember. But I think you could do it in like a day if you did that, though. Which is kind of crazy to think how fast you could do constructions two and a mil if you went for it and you had the money for it. Crazy. It's like uh, I don't know if you know Jenny Death, but he got uh two hundred mil prayer in a week. That is disgusting. <laughs> like just <That's> insane. <laughs> just a straight up just a week he got 200 mil prayer on just a, he just literally made a new i'm pretty sure correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure i'm to the people listening i'm pretty sure he just made a brand new account and got 200 mil prayer in a week <laughs> just like what the fuck dude it's i mean disgusting. one person has to do it i guess it's just disgusting <laughs> yeah yeah that's so much clicking. One tick clicking on the altar is just absurd. I don't want to picture that. Yeah. Um, all right. We'll continue with this little uh, topic. So he says, what content do you think needs a rework update? Hmm. Again, it's probably one thing you can't just say one thing about when it comes to things like that. Um, I don't really know. To be honest, I'm trying to think. Nightmare. I mean, obviously, that's just coming from experience. I think that one knows as well, to be fair. <laughs> Nightmare Nude's a huge overall. Yeah, definitely no, definitely no bias on that one, always to say. <laughs> yeah, that's um, my... That's the biggest... There's a lot of things that need updates, but that's the biggest. 
I almost seen some mini games get reworks if like they're planning on adding more things in the future. Like what? I don't know. A lot of people have always mean about Dribble Bruno always being like outdated because no one ever does the mini game anymore. Mm, yeah. I know they can't. I know they can't just like stick a pet at Dribble Bruno though because it'll just like create another problem. Yeah. Um... Best way to revive mini games is to give good clue rates. That's my opinion. Because it's not, it doesn't become bottable, and it doesn't become any more enticing to non-clue doers. It's not like a pet or anything where everyone's obsessed with them. But it gives yeah. the little niche of like people wanting. To, I don't know. I would do mini games if it had good clue rates. Like if if BA had like a competitive clue rate where you get a lead every like hour or so. Hell yeah, I'd be there. I'd be there all day. And the least pretty one coming from BA anyway, actually. Yeah, but it still right. takes like. If I recall correctly, it was like five hours or something to get an elite or like something like that. I guess we're going for the pace. It's going to be a passive extra clue ball in the way. I ain't doing BA till I get a third age bow. Once I pull the third age bow, we'll go <laughs> casually pull a third age bow. Man, I'm going to start grinding for the pet passively. So if you ever needed someone, I'll yeah, be around. I'll... I'm waiting until third age. It could be a wild one. Again, yeah, if, if I pull the third way. age, if I pull a third age bow during the Seracnus grind, I will give. I'll take a little hiatus and go do some BA. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think what else we could kind of say we could go for um, potential reworks or updates. Like I said before, like outdated drop tables, like things like the chewed bones could be an idea. But again, it's such a niche piece of content. Yeah, it's not essential by any means, but I will say like. Getting a nice little drop from the chewed bones besides just the dragonfall home would be just kind of cool because the loot alone from myth dragons is already shit. Let the yeah. chewed bones be a little bit of a perk, in my opinion. I won't mind them changing advent dragons actually though, when it comes to like metal dragons because the advent dragons are still. You can kill the rune dragons easier than the advent dragons. <laughs> Dude, Addy and rune dragons, I really wish they had had the same sort of like chewed bone drop. It they're con it's such dull content when you just get the drop. Like you just get the shard or the lump or whatever. I yeah. I really wish they had some sort of chewed bone mechanic. Could you use like the machinery in the area for Yeah. It? A shame that they didn't do that. Makes them to what? They'll I never mean, do it. I mean but yeah. Well I'll we'll never say never. But yeah. <laughs> nah, I will mind them just update in and also an inversion for Adamant Dragon, since you can reduce so much damage with Rune with Insulated Boost, but you can't really reduce the Poison one from Adamant's too much, even with Antidotes. That thing still rinses you, even oh, with Antidotes. Oh yeah, dirt. it's horrible. You look away for one second, you get splashed like 25 damage, like easy. Even yeah. with an anti. Whereas if you AFK it, if you AFK it Lightning, you take like 5 damage. Yeah. And you can literally just AFK it. So they've ever made, I don't know, some way of making the Poison reduce, you know, more that'd be cool well i wouldn't say no to that at least it again going back to your own argument is like at least it makes the kite shield cooler it's just... it makes it very it makes it very expensive for sure because <laughs> kite shield's worth like 55 mil still because <laughs> just no one kills them <laughs> just how annoying they have to kill yeah um yeah, so that's, that's probably like a few things I'd probably throw under like mini games and just mechanics of like certain NPCs in the game. But it's hard to really say like one piece of content. Yeah. Especially when I live like one piece of content as it is. <laughs> also, you can hear experience from Nightmare. Also, you know that the drops probably should be changed a little bit and like drop rate should probably change a little bit. The whole the whole entire drop Thanks. mechanic and everything should be fixed. Scaling should be fixed. Just so many things need to be fixed. It's such a shit show, honestly. But yeah, too I much. You could have like an entire episode dedicated just to a nightmare. <laughs> I could just I could ramble on for like two hours on just like <laughs> what exactly they would need to do to make this thing more balanced. But yeah, whatever. And then he asks, "Is there anything you're wanting to see in the game that isn't in yet?" Hmm. Now, again, obviously, you can break this down to multiple different things. Like, also, a lot of people want to see another extension on raids next, since that's what everyone's kind of been waiting for. I personally would love to see another kind of... 
I know everyone kind of compares Nightmare to like being like Neck from back in the day, but I'd love to see a Neck's like boss in old school. Oh, yeah, I've never done that. And I know, I know mechanically it's definitely more possible than it was years back to do that now. But I know they couldn't like just recreate Next in its current form, like what it was back in Aris 2. But I never experienced it myself. I was offered to do free for alls back in the day, but I never actually went to them mm. when like Next first came out. Yeah, I never played RS3, so I don't know what Next really is. People have just compared it to Nightmare, like you said. It's like I wouldn't mind seeing like a Gold Balls extension. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what Next is. I know RS3 has also got God Wars 2, and I think again, God Wars 3 entry as well. Wow. From what I remember hearing. But I'd say if it was through PBM, I'd love to see something like that. If we're going to have like another, unless they extend Reds 3 into like a different like branch of the storyline. Because I'll say I know there's still got to finish off the Marge Rap storyline in, our, in old school. Yeah. And I think same with like the Zaras um, like theme. And also there's definitely potential with both like the Frozen Plateau and the Desert to do that. Like I wouldn't seem to see, I wouldn't mind even to see more quest lines being finished in old school. Yeah, are you a fan of lore? I like lore. I really enjoy the lore. Yeah. I want there to be a corporal beast lore. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people will have mentioned that. Like when I've been doing corpse, and that it's a shame they kind of just threw in corp back in the day without like the quest. <laughs> yeah. We'll see, it made more sense with the quest, but maybe if they ever make like a a harder version of corp down the line, it could be a lot behind the quest. But God help me do another cult grind, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's some... There is... I mean, yeah, it sucks going dry, but there's some beauty to Corp. It's like such a unique boss, and it's still old school to the point where it's just... It's just a point... You literally just click the boss and kill it, which I kind of yeah. enjoy. Because, like, you know, they come out with Nightmare, and they're like, oh, yeah, this is like a Corp-style boss, but it's like the whole time, there is no looking away from your like computer ever because you're having to switch a prayer every single like three seconds it's just like it's just get to the point where it's just tedious it's just like oh like just give me a break that's the beauty of corpse like you know you kind of just go at your own you know, pace you know, yeah you're not that with corp whereas nightmare it's just it's just tedious well, it, it plays on the name sometimes <laughs> literally does if I, don't, if I don't think i could do solos i think i'd just get too frustrated with it the listen what just happened? Oh, there we go. Um, honestly, if you ever do corp solos, do not do do not do them right away, because your corp so your solos are gonna be like, I don't know, twenty five minutes long initially. So I would just stick with teams until you get some inquisitors pieces, and then at like that said, point like, you can decide. Like you said, corp and not um, nightmare. Oh, nightmare! <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. I'm literally at corp right now. Yeah, yeah. Don't do corp. I'm trying to teach you how to do. You know, you're not the expert at Corp. You've done 12,000 fucking kills. I died I mean, again. I mean, 25 minute kills are pretty slow. That's what I'm going to say. I died at Nightmare. All right, Corp again. God, they're the same plate. Ah, <laughs> that's fine. Um, all right, we'll move uh, on to a different topic. Although, I would like to have one more thing to my little scene coming to the game. Oh, go ahead. If you guys the games, I'd love to see Still Creation back. I've never done that. Was it fun? It was really fun. Although I said it used summoning back in the day, though. It's like one mechanic, so they'd have to change it for that. Mm. But it's like both ones started from scratch. You used your skills to basically make tools and weapons. And after that, it was just basically who could be like, I think, get the most points in the end. Okay. Either by killing the other team or depositing the uh, like resources. But usually, most people usually just got their, I think, like their 20 points, whatever it was, 20,000 points. I can't remember the exact form because it's over a decade ago now. Everyone just basically kill each other after that with like ancients and daggers and stuff. So everyone would like switch to everyone literally switch to ancients and then they just start getting runes and start barraging everyone. <laughs> kind of like what souls is at the uh, the gravestone area. See, that's the weird thing. Like I always confuse. So I've never played RS three, but I always confuse stealing creation with soul wars. I don't know anything. I mean, now I know a little bit about soul wars. Still have not done a single. Yeah, I have I've not been soul to soul wars, wars, but yeah, like. I said I'd do it when I got the alley, just so I can actually tank everything. True. Ellie <laughs> and a staff of the dead. Actually. Yeah. And also I've got full chest here as well now. <laughs> I could just literally be a full tank, just pray mage and just literally have full chest here in an alley. That's disgusting, yeah. 
It kind of fun. sucks that Justice sure doesn't work in PvP. Like, it doesn't give it that... Make, it, I it doesn't work in PvP, I forgot about that, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's still tanky as hell, though. Oh, yeah, it's still super tanky to serve the uh, reduction. Yeah. I'm kind of sad that it doesn't... I don't I don't understand why it doesn't... I mean, I do, because PKers would cry, but... I think it's just for, I think it's literally for balancing reasons when they first thought of the idea of it. It's just silly because it's three. I like you have to have the three to make it a defense reduction. Like I feel like that's worth. Yeah, I don't know. But also, it's so cheap now that it's it's probably like more. But it's probably, probably cheap it because it's literally shit. If it actually had some use in PvP, it'd probably be more expensive. But yeah. Um. Okay. Fat clouds. Shout out fat clouds. <laughs> type a one in the chat. Um, he says, I'd like to know how you, Jack, feel on the progression of Iron Man mode. Uh, you were one of the original Irons, and Fat Clouds would like to hear if you like the direction Old School is headed or not. Uh, I mean, I said before, like, when that's, like, made new Iron Man, like, from my streams, that it's become a lot more streamlined, but you can actually go, like, all different paths now with an Iron Man, which I like. Like, for early game, Iron Man, there's so much more choices than there used to be. Because I'm pretty sure the mayor before when you first started, Nine was literally immediately start thieving and just go that way. So, I like there's a lot more variety now for like early irons, especially. Also, yeah, the mayor is going to be like goes to like winter top and stuff, but there's a lot more options you can actually go down now yeah. for like starting out with Nine. Like for GP, you can do a Julie Pyramid. That was never buff back in the day. They used to just a thousand GP a run, so also it was never worth doing. Yeah, and just more options since then. And like I said, I think it's just become a lot more streamlined. Like, getting supplies is a lot easier for the most part. Obviously, you still have to put in the time to do it. But there's just way more options now to get supplies. So, like, the early to mid game iron, as long as you plan things out, you can really speed through it now. True. Where it used to be a bit more of a grind originally, you have to always keep the top of your farm runs back in the day. There was no farming guild, so you couldn't really get seeds in bulk. I think it's definitely suiting. Large group suppliers now to play Iron Man with what they've done with it all. I feel like. In terms, in terms of end game, though, I don't know if I can talk on that one really since I just yeah, literally yeah. stick to like once he was a content in the game. <laughs> yeah. So I've not really spent that much more for game beyond that yet. I feel like. Um, yeah, the B I like how they've streamlined a lot of. There's runs. definitely much more, much more progression now that you can, you can go down with Iron Man at the start. Yeah. That is a good thing. There are like little things I don't like about it, but for the most part, it's been a really good thing they've it's done. Helped, it's helped new players get into Iron Man, especially. Yeah. Which I don't know if I in necessarily like ranked, when a bunch of casuals like for, start joining the game mode, but yeah. In terms of like for rank competitions, I also know Ian say uh, a big, you know, rank chaser when it comes to like, you know, XP and stuff. A little bit different in that regard, because there's a lot more options now where the meds have just changed over and over. Yeah. And also, like we mentioned before, with like the alt and stuff, I know Slayer on is definitely a thing. But I know it's probably going to get changed eventually. I think Arcane's been talking about that. Yep. But like I said, methods have also changed since like from years back that you also just weren't possible back then. So I don't know if I can really talk on that one since I never really took part in that kind of thing. I never really involved myself with like rank chasing too much. Yeah. Also, Ian built to us for a while because Ian is a big grinder when it comes to um, like skilling and you know going for like the big XPs and stuff. Yeah, I you, feel like I can't really talk beyond that for me. He used to be a beast PVMer like, too. You remember those days? He used to do raids and stuff. And now he's just that's how I met Ian back in the day. Yep, he was in Iron Clan with me, and he was a skiller. He was three ticking granite. Nobody remembers. <laughs> nobody remembers that. Nobody would. Nobody would ever believe me if I told them that Fat Clouds did 99 mining at the quarry. They think I'm crazy. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could see it though. Ian is a big gamer. Yeah. You know, shout out Fat Clouds. Shout out Fat Clouds. For now, um, also, I just like how much it's become for most like newer players. Like I said for end game stuff, it's just different because obviously the sim meds have now changed a lot. Also, like I said, farm girls changed a lot when it comes to progressively getting some of these grinds done now. Obviously, the Chaos Altar changed parameters a lot as well. Oh, yeah. Again, something that I never did back in the day. I killed all my green dragons. So that was Double fun. green dragons, yeah. It's 
disgusting. Yeah, was, it's good for clues, though. True. Got a few hundred fan clues doing that grind, but yeah. I mean, I'm I'm fine with that kind of direction now it's going. But like I said, it's mainly because I don't really compete for ranks. I know it's definitely a lot more of a view on it for like the higher rank view. Honestly, it's like I'm saying, I'm a lot ranked. I'm like what rank sixty three, I think, right now. For Iron Man, like I've kept up there since like day one. But I don't really think of it too much beyond what I do in games. I just mostly go for pets and items. So I don't really think about like skill and metas and stuff. Yeah. I definitely say it's definitely got somewhat easier in certain aspects. Things have become a lot more convenient than they did years back. For sure. But I feel like I'm not really probably the most suitable to probably talk on that topic. Yeah. Like, I... beyond, like, that kind of thing. I remember Lelador's rambles, like, super early on, where he was just... First few months of the game mode, he was, like, planning out his kill 50,000 wyverns for... <laughs> I miss Lelador, man. Yeah. Kill 50,000 wyverns for 99 prayer and 99 runecrafting. And then Zora came out and he just became the Zora King. Yeah, it literally became the to kill Zora. Like, the, mission of pro the initial progression for like a new item was literally just kill like 5,000 Zora. Yep. I said that's why I chose not to do it. Yeah, that sounds I dull. Want, I didn't want to go for the mechs. It sounded, yeah, dull and boring to me. I just first to just do Chill Slayer and perhaps we get everything I wanted from that. It helps me get the pets on the way. Uh, but I don't know. It, it's hard to really say until we see more updates happen in the coming years for Ironman. Like, I would definitely say um, things were not as tailored towards Ironman originally. Like, things weren't planned in mind for Irons for some of the things. Whereas, obviously, now, like, Temporal's a good example where it's definitely. Obviously, it's not, you know, revolved around Ironman stuff, but the loots definitely benefit Ironman. Yeah. It also before it was a much harsher way of playing the game back in, like, 24 and 2015. But like, like I said before, though, people did find their ways to get, you know, get through all that stuff back in the day. Like even like the early cult grinders, like you know, Sig, Lay, Curse, and how they had to do cult back in the day. Ugh. Yeah, watching early corp streams with Curtis was like going to nightmare zone to like reset yeah. or whatever. Like what the fuck? Yeah, POH God. definitely. I mean, the POH update changed a lot. For Iron Man and PBM metas for everyone in general. Oh, yeah. That alone is probably one of the biggest changes ever for Iron Man. Yeah. Be able to just be able to restore your stats, teleport pretty much anywhere in your house. Like that has legitimately changed everything. POH is busted. I think if that never happened, a lot of grounds would be much slower these days still. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. Like me doing 12 and cough with that method? Nope. <laughs> nope. Interesting. No. I mean, I like how they've definitely made things more streamlined though for Iron Man in general. Yeah, like, I I really like the I really like the like uh, menus where like they've made it so you can like make all like. Do you remember when you had to right click, make X, and then type out a number every single time? Yeah, you, <laughs> remember those yeah, days? Remember like that. that was just like normal, and it was almost like everyone is freaking out. Or, like all the high level players are freaking out when they would like when they were talking about changing it to just make all, because it was like, no, this is respectable. But now it's like, God, I can't even imagine going back to that. No. No, things have changed, man. <laughs> make X, 9-9, nine, nine, enter. Like, Jesus Christ. Very much sounds name with that one. <laughs> <laughs> just so bad, dude. <laughs> like, it's... Yeah, I really like what they've done with, like, streamlining things and just menus and everything. Yeah. It looks nice. It's definitely better for like, the more mid game community of Iron Man. Mm -hmm. like I said, when it comes to the high level community of it all, like I said, I'm not really the probably most close person to talk about that kind of stuff. I'm just like, I want to try. Yeah. Well, I think. I know, Ian, I, know, Ian, I, know, I know Ian could definitely break down into a lot more things with that than what I ever could. Yeah. Well, I think, I think you did. I think you answered it well. Yeah. Like I said, I am. I mean, I am like one of the OG Iron Men to some degree, but I never got involved in that kind of thing. Like, I might have been one of the higher ranks back in the day, but I never really thought anything beyond what I already did. Yeah, you were like you're like Curtis, where Curtis was you know top page Iron Man for so long, but then like the actual skillers come out and just you know. Pass I'm still kind of good. I never, I'm still kind of good. I never went front page when I had the chance. I was five ranks off. Really? I've always, I've always been like just off since then. Oh damn! I, was, I thought you I were top 10, page at one point. I was ten away. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. I was, I was thirty for I maxed. Yeah. And now I'm like five hundred away from top page. <laughs> Yeah, top page is said, legit competitive now. Like, yeah. Although there are a few definitely like, probably burn ranks you could probably quote on that front page still there. 
like I said, I know um, people that I've known for years, obviously, they're sliding down the ranks now. Like, obviously, I know Leslie was one of them that's really dropped off. Yep. It feels weird that I'm, like, right next to, I think, like, Leslie and Marl in the ranks now. Yeah. You know, like, how much I, you know, looked at them when I first started going for Max. Yeah. I still remember, like, looking at old high scores, like, looking at a situation in Lelador, like, right up there at, like, one I mean, point. I mean, like, something. I mean, that screenshot I sent with the slightest of situations literally there. He's rank 11. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice. I'd, I'd already not good point from Pidge in that sense, though. Mm -hmm. I never really thought of high end skill and skill more did. All right. Well, let's move on to uh, Mod Flippy asks <laughs> If you were forced to create a new account, what would your main goals be? That scares me. It almost feels like I'm going to get banned by him. Like he's like, he's going to gonna get me banned somehow. He's like just asking what I'm about to do because he's going to ban me. <laughs> so, but yeah, what would you. Uh, what would your main goals be if you ha were forced to make a new account? Would you just do the Ellie grind right now? Mm, I may mean, at least get the jab probably from that. <laughs> <laughs> God. Um, well, here. If it, was like a, if it was like a fresh Iron Man in these current days now. Yeah. I don't really know, to be honest. First thing I would uh, do, if, if I somehow lost his account, like, God, that would be, first of all, the worst thing ever, but... If something happened where I was forced to make a new account, it would be a dedicated. It would be exactly what I'm already planning on doing on this account because I haven't dedicated gotten to clue. it. De just clue dedicated. It would first things first though. I'd have to do so much stuff just to get my account to be able to complete all masters. Yeah, you, have all the, you have to all the prep work again. Yep. But I feel yeah. like it wouldn't be as slow as I initially made it. I mean, I feel like I'd probably just what I've already done, but I've had better luck, I guess. Yeah. I mean, as, as long as my switch is turned on, Flippy, that'd be nice. <laughs> you know, the RNG switch, put that back on. That, that means never going to die. Man. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have something else. I've always thought of this. So I have a video on my YouTube where I was... It's catered to caveman only, where he could grind out a dragon full helm with zero supplies. Mm -hmm. And you just camp the staircase. I don't know if you ever saw that video. Um, no, you fl you flinch the staircase going up to Mithril Dragons, and you can make it so you can just oh, go that up and cool. down. You can go up, shoot the dragon with a range weapon, go back down, and then as soon as you go back down, you lose aggro, or you don't you don't actually lose the aggro zone, but the dragon stops, you know, being aggressive toward you, and in that moment, so you just keep going back up every five tick, and you can continue a five tick cycle. And you don't need any supplies or whatnot. So literally, if um, I would make I an if I prefer, prefer that one. I would make an ultimate Iron Man, brand new ultimate Iron Man. I would go get a bone crossbow, like I would yeah. rush a bone crossbow and a shit ton of bone bolts somehow, and then um, literally I would become a sixty defense, um, ninety nine range ultimate Iron Man. And uh, that like that would be all my stats. I, it would just be that. Uh, I might I might bury the bones, but I doubt it. I, I don't think I'd bury the bones. I'd just stay a one prayer, sixty defense, one prayer, sixty defense, ninety nine range account with the dragon full helm, and then I would just be a GE standing account. It would literally just be my flex account. Like that's what I want. The skills I would be able to think I'd envy someone doing that. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, imagine, <laughs> imagine how cool that would be. Though you see this random one defense, one prayer, or sorry, sixty defense, one prayer, ultimate with a dragon full helm. Everyone would be like, "What the fuck?" They'd be oh, yeah, so you, confused. You definitely stand out, sure. Yeah, that's what I would do. Just because it's mm. viable now, or not viable, but you know what I mean, possible. Yeah, I mean, also I only have would like the new account is obviously a fresh collection log. I can actually complete everything and not worry about True. it. True. But no, I, would, I would probably do everything again to some degree and just hope I have better fortunes with luck on certain grinds. <laughs> Try and hopefully not camping for as long as I have done. Yeah. I feel like the only thing that's kind of been different to me is that I could have easily maxed like another two accounts and just the Ellie and the Tebow grind. Jeez. How many hours is it to max and I'm unofficially these days? Do you know roughly? Uh, I so? think it's like 2,000. Yeah, I could have maxed two, I could literally max two accounts in that time. That's crazy. Not good crazy out there. 
just it's just so painful going dry. Like, does it just hurt you when people literally complete court? Fuck me, dude! I died again. God damn it! I hate this place. <laughs> I've, I've spent I've spent a <laughs> mil here today. Oh god. Have you tried protect Titan yet? Nope. <laughs> you should you should do to see if it makes a difference. <laughs> really shit. Okay. Or thing is, I'm not even losing any of my Inquisitor pieces. Like I keep all my Inquisitor, so I'm wondering what I am. Probably my Dragon War Hammer. That's probably it. It'll be like the Hammer Spear. Yeah. I'm trying to remember correct who else it could have been. BGS. I think it's the Hammer. Also, your Omnicates would affect your stuff as well if you have them or not. Yeah, I have them on. That's like one thing I learned since they changed death counts is that if they're worth a certain value still, you can actually keep multiple lines beyond four with that. With how the um, like how the onikids were worth, always prioritize it over everything else if they're worth more. Okay. So say you have like two kits that are worth more than your fourth item would be, you keep those two kits and that fourth item as well. So you'd keep six items. Interesting. Something I learned from being a cop for a while. <laughs> so, so just keep in mind if you ever do cop and you actually have like you know a torture kit and BGS kit and stuff. Yeah, you can definitely I'll, I'll, like to actually have more things get on there. I want the I want the BGS kit really bad. Looks really nice. Like I said I've not been lucky on master kits, but that's one I'm very grateful I got. Yeah, I have I two, I have two Armadale God Swords and one SGS. The SGS kit's sexy, but yeah, I I would love to get that and get the the golden spec from LMS for that. Yeah, I would. That'd be like a dream thing for me to get. That'd be motivation to get that spec clock if yeah, I get yeah, the gold. Yeah. Um, the kit for it, but yeah, I, th I think for me it'd just be regrind the usual grind again. Just hopefully not get stuck on them. Try and save time things I wouldn't need to grind anymore. Yeah. Also, be able to like progress through all that stuff much faster now with farm guild and everything. I can get my supplies much quicker. True. There's... I would learn. I would learn not to do team raids and just not get sniped ebos anymore. <laughs> so. Would you just do solos the entire time? I'd always try, yeah. I mean, I know I can do it from doing it in Twisted League with like the Musk of setup, but it's just I'd get the bare necessities that I would need for it and then just hope I don't get super dry on like the prize and stuff early on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it would it would hurt me if I had to make a new account at this point. I have put in you know ten, I can't say tens of thousands of hours, but I can say over ten thousand hours, like in between ten and twenty thousand hours on this account, and oh god, <laughs> I I don't know. It would have to be a clue scroll account, and I would just have to like do in, do it in budget gear. I feel like, but yeah, I don't. I don't know. Damn it! Uh, then nope. <laughs> it just gives me anxiety to even think about because I understand why people would quit the. I understand why people would quit the game if they got like their account. Yeah, compromised or something because it's just so many hours you think of gone yeah i mean to be, to be fair if i'd start fresh account i think i'd probably have know the moment and everything else that that would probably generally get me out if that happened yeah i think i'd probably have to make like a novel account if it generally was that kind of like feeling for me yeah i i would it, honestly if that happened i would wait till group iron man and then i'd just go hard on group iron man i'd play like i feel like i would make a group iron man but make it a a duo group Iron Man where I play both accounts. Something <laughs> weird like that. Just I was going for the day Alcon does like five accounts for it. Like I would do this. I would <laughs> I would make one account my nightmare account. So one of my accounts would go farm a mace for me. It would go camp a bunch of blood shards and then it would just basically do nightmare on the side and then one of my accounts would like start preparing for Seracnus. <laughs> and so I would just have like two things going at once just like one account just preparing for the clue grind getting all the master requirements and then one account just getting my mace ready for me i sure you have better luck on the second time around it never happens that way it's always worse luck somehow <laughs> yeah oh, you never know you never know all right 42 eu asks let's see this he asks, three-part question. Do you think we'll see a push for Corp solo easy scape given recent integrity changes? Could something be introduced that would speed up Corp without breaking other metas? Thoughts on reintroducing the old d spec of reducing defense plus mage? I didn't even know it was a thing. 
I um, let me answer this one first. Honestly, since I've been doing corp, I did a few corp kills yesterday. I went into your stream and showed you I got two spirit shields first two kills after like a year. Yep. Um yep. that was weird. Kept going. <laughs> uh but um literally what they could do is this. To make corp slight I know this is just might hurt you to make it faster. I, know, I, I, I knew what was gonna happen eventually. It's fine. So my thought is something that doesn't devalue anything really. Um, I think there should come, I don't know where it would come from, but some new bait item where you could set up basically bait at the entrance and it would keep corp right at the entrance for all the specking. Um, I mean, that'd be a convenience for sure, just yeah. to have it load more close to the entrance. There'd, it would have to be some sort of caught, maybe like you, maybe there, there could be an NPC there that kind of lures it over there and you pay him a certain amount per, maybe it'll be like a coffer. You put gold in there and he'll like, hold your corp for you for as it would be like a blast furnace thing like a time based thing that's probably useful for a lot of people to be honest to be fair even like just for men's doing it as teams save them a little bit of time yeah it, it would save a first of all corp so i'm showing it on my end but corp tends to it's, always be on the east side of the room yeah it's always right at the back <laughs> it's so annoying it's it's almost like it's almost as if corpse like full range extends more east than normal because, yeah, he hardly ever is on the west side right next to the door. I mean, you could, could just change the room as well. Yeah, they could make like it that smaller. That, I, feel like that, I feel like that could probably change, like, the, like, pet hunters, like, boosted method, though, as well, at the same time. Yeah. So, I, like, how they have, like, that whole thing organized, like, where they all stand. So, if they'd actually change meds, they change the size of the cave. I feel like they could just change the size of the cave. But if they wanted to make it some sort of payment process where it's kind of like a gold sink in a way... Just have have an NPC at the entrance that you could pay him, and he will force Corp to be right at the entrance for all the specking. Because, yes, I mean that would be amazing. It would speed up Corp, and it would it wouldn't be an alting thing. It would just be purely, you know, it wouldn't. I don't know. I, I feel like that would be a cool thing. One. People in the comments will need to like ask or um. I mean, you could literally tie in the brazier for that as well. Fireman, you could have like swing in the brazier to do that. Ooh, that would yes. Really across. Yes, that's my that's my idea with um pushing for I mean, solo I mean, easy escape without making it just completely game changing. Just something that keeps corp next to the door for a payment or something. It would, it would just make it more convenient, if anything. Yep, it would it save a lot of time it, it too over time. It's it, 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 it a couple minutes of kill point on average, though. Surely I only have to run back half the time just to get the core. Yeah, no, it would speed. It would, it would probably like right now. I get eleven minute kill corpse if I'm like focusing with like full inquisitors. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if if corp was always at the door, I swear I would probably save. You'd be able to push like ten minutes very easily. I'd probably be able to push nine minutes if I mm -hmm. never had to run to the back. Like I have to run to the back like eighty percent of the time. It saves so yep. much time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be a great update. I think Jagex, Jagex, if you're listening to this, do that. But that's just for me. Don't, for Jack's sake, don't do it. Make it, <laughs> make this grind. No, I, I said, I said before, but I said before, I'd rather people get luckier than not, you know, be me. So. Well, that's humble of you. I'd, I'd, I'd be, I'd be able to be able to get an easier grind here. That's humble. As long as I do nightmare at the same time, I don't have to worry about that grind too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but no, I'd, I'd say that's probably the best solution to that. I don't know if they're going to push anything for easy skip, though, with Carl. Yeah, we'll have I don't, to see. I don't know if they really change. Unless they make like another tier of like Arclight or something that would make it ignore them being a demon, then you can do 10% damage every time instead of 5 for Carl. Yeah, that'd be... That, that, that would also save a few minutes as well. Yeah, it would. It'd save probably 2 minutes. But unless like they remove the cap eventually on like maybe like Carl's damage, because I'll see it caps at 50. Yeah. So also then you can have halberds hit higher than fifty as well when you do the specs, and that alone would also increase the speeds of the kills. Well, there's yeah. a few ways they definitely could make it faster or more easy skip, more convenient to do, but it's the right way of doing it at the same time because also it's going to affect not just diamond but affect like everyone. I wonder yeah. if they would ever make it so you can kill Corp with any weapon. Like I mean, they've, I mean, they've never done that still in Aris Field, I think. I'm pretty sure it's still a spear the meta. Really? I, I just don't, I almost feel like... Uh... So I'm pretty sure I've seen a friend, one of his most reviews, he was literally killing cop with a spear. So. Yeah. 
I don't think they've ever changed. I think as long as you have the weapon, it would still work the same way because it's tied in with like how the lore is, where it's like weak to being stabbed. So. I I almost feel like it would be cool if um if there's more variants, it'd be definitely interesting yeah. to see what people could do. I, I'm just thinking like, what if like what if they just made it somehow tie into lore where like a rapier can like. Uh, can like I don't know like really just I don't know just something where like you can get a better weapon than a spear but I mean same time a spear is great it's already like decent but I mean they may eventually make a higher tier spear for all we know true the use for the damage spear is literally cool they could bring in like more entities that are you know specialized to spears down the line yeah you we'll never know until ideas yes you know start rolling uh, yeah my my one thing would just be luring corp like somehow let that light brazier like lure corp all the way to the entrance every time it would save so much time it would be so less tedious but yeah at the at the end of the day you know i i can imagine there's probably comments saying like just keep corp the way it is it's a respectable grind like sure yeah. like don't do I'm, anything I'm, to I'm, it. I'm i'm fine with corp staying as it is personally yeah. but that's maybe because i killed twelve thousand. but yeah <laughs> no I'm, I'm i have enjoyed the corp grind for it once yeah, I wouldn't say no to it was like, you know, made like that when I was doing the grind back then, but I'm drawing one flex for keeping hours at the same time. Yeah. Like I said, I think maybe a different tier spear or like a version of like an that would also do, you know, more reduction, would also change it a little bit. But I don't think they were like make a cop super easy. Yeah. Like at least for an IMAX perspective anyway, because I'll see if you affect like one game mode, you affect all the game modes. Yeah. And it'll just make it more easy for mains to grind too and also if you think about the economy side of it as well so it doesn't affect us as, as irons too much but it probably definitely affect the main more what did you think of the divine being pulled like a couple years ago or a year ago or something whatever it went whenever it was i was very impactful i didn't mind if it happened or not back then i wanted it to I be just, added I just, I just i just don't think it would fit into old school so if like how divine worked in arrows 2 it fitted along summoning a lot better because of like beast of bones and stuff and also the certain content where it would actually fit better yeah i think the vine was mostly used for pvp because of also like the smites like the smite effect it has on your character by reducing damage yeah i feel like it would have just uh, my selfish reason is just to add another unique <laughs> to make it feel like you have a better chance of getting something but... i mean technically it wouldn't actually change anything at cop yeah, I mean, I it would just it make was, it so a sigil is more like 1 in 500, probably. Yeah, it'd go back to being 1 in 512, like it should be. Yeah. You have to make it higher to keep the same drop rate of the other sigils when they added it. So when they actually originally pulled Cough back in 2014 or wherever it was when they added it, they had to um, keep the same 4,095, like KC. So if they have to remove one of the sigils, they have to scale everything up to that as well. Yeah. That's why sigils are 1 in 585 in old school. Although it's now a different arrows three, I'm pretty sure the sigil is a completely different arrows three now, but also the old days it was one in five twelve. Okay. The sigils. But also they've changed the entire drop rates in arrows three from what I saw. The arcane's now the same rarity as the uh, divine and Ellie. Interesting. And the spectral's half the drop rate. Is it is the arcane any better? Or is it the same? I, I guess they've just I, completely reworked RS three in general, so it's just weird. I'm really not too sure. I never I never looked into it. I think if I ever went into all like back into RS three, like, you know, old days kind of thing. I feel like I'd probably complete the, complete the call plug. In my <laughs> self, in my selfish way, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of like that. Uh, the the jar of spirits came out. It's just another one of those items to get something that. I mean, as soon as you get it, it's like, eh, whatever. But like, it's something I mean, else one, to get. You know. I feel like one thing I mentioned with a few of my uh, viewers yesterday about with jars. Also, they reckon also jars should have been untradeable from day one. Yep. Just to give them more what? prestige to get them. Whale's comment right here. He says, uh, "Thoughts on jars." I uh, well, put that at the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's right at the bottom, actually. Yeah, the fact they aren't under. Well, for me, it's like right in the middle. But yeah, Twitter. Yeah, weird. it's right on the, on the bottom of mine at the moment. Why do you think? What do you think about jars actually? And I guess he says the wild variation in, in time to obtain them. I mean, most of them are pretty balanced. It's just literally because he's got sticks out like a saw thumb. <laughs> it's like time wise to get. I guess Carl probably did a longer one to get, but overall. Jar of Stones pretty one. painful too. Jar of Stones one in five k. Wait, is it one in five k for the stone? Yeah, I'm pretty no, sure. I, I thought it was one in three k. Yeah. Mm. I think Pets one in three k and Jars one in. I you'd have. 
Somebody would have to correct me. I'm pretty sure that's it. I got a jar of stone though, 20 KC. So lucky me. Uh, lucky for some. <laughs> I was very lucky at Gargoyle boss. I got jar, 20 KC, pet, 240, and then the core at like 500. I have had a okay look at Grotesque Islands or something really gone for the pet. Yeah, I'm only like 260 KC or something. Do you have the core yeah, already? It's got two of them. Oh, nice. Got one on stream, and I was just like, meh. <laughs> so I already had it, so it was like, meh. Yeah, that's cool. So it was collection log, which I didn't think about at the time. So I have one in my collection log, and obviously one that isn't. So, but, um, I mean, I wouldn't mind if they ever made like future jars and tradable. I don't feel like it's even necessary at this point. Like, whatever. They've already fucked it up too hard. Like, it's just I mean, weird. I, if I mean, the original concept of a GI was literally just to be a troll drop. That was like the other thing. Wilson also just become just like a general meme now when it comes to like new bosses have a GI. Yeah. So I mean, I'm impartial to them because at the end of the day, it's just an additional drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sucks like completion is collection law kind of thing because you'll see some of them are just literally. I mean, obviously, you know, it's either literally impossible to get on average unless you get very lucky. Yeah, that jar of darkness is insane. What did you think about the poll, by the way? Did you think? It well, should have it, when it failed. <laughs> or what did you, did you vote yes to it? Like, did you want it to change? I voted yes to it. Yeah. Okay. So, what was it pulled to? Like one in five hundred? Is that what it was trying to be pulled to? I think it's one in five hundred. Yeah. So it'd still be like eighty out, like eighty million next yeah. year to get on average. It'd still be ridiculously high. I think it's like what well, did it finish? Like fifty-five percent yes or something. I can't. I think remember. they're like trolled, trolled on the uh, on the votes. I didn't. I don't think I voted on that one. Cause and for that question, honestly, I was completely indifferent because. Yeah, it, I mean, I never expect to get it, so it's, you know, I it's like it's it it's either. just like having like a third age jar. It's just like a jar is absolutely by no means essential to any game. Like I know I understand it's absurd the hour difference between that jar and any every other jar, but like. At the same time, that is not an essential drop. It does nothing except for be a cosmetic in your POH. Yeah, and it doesn't change anything in the game. Yeah. In that sense. It is really ridiculous, but I just consider it since it since its release, it's just like, oh, it's just one of those third age jars, basically. It's like you either get it or you don't. You just you know. It's it's like the full town of jars, basically. Yep. It's, it's like pound wise, it's so much more than all them put together. Yeah. And you can't exactly camp it either because terms are just not the easiest to get. If you ever change like term matters down the line, maybe it could become more viable to get. Yeah. Like they could also make terms more likely to get from like. I know if one says like Slayer's Gate, but if they ever expanded its superiors beyond what they are currently are, and there's one that guarantees like a full term roll. Ooh, yeah. That would definitely change matters a lot though. True. And also, Slayer Bear's already kind of nuts that it is. So, like I said, I'm not really one for talking on Slayer Matters because I'm like the opposite of like. A slayer grinder these days. Yeah. You know, I've had my time up there for I mean back in the day, but I was far from like the efficient players. I love Scotizo. I love a like I think Scotizo I mean Skodos is the worst pet in the game. <laughs> it's just so ugly and so common. But um I d I d I'd have it still. <laughs> you still don't have it? I got it in Twisted Hole, you could have it on the island still. Damn, what's your Scotizo KC though? I'm only eighty. Oh, okay. I'm not dry, dry, but yeah. I got it on like 10 in Twisted League. So, you know, it's ironic. Yeah. I've had three packs in the league that I've not had in my Iron Man. I just, I really like Scotizo. <laughs> I like these little like bonus bosses you get. And I love the fact that it drops a guaranteed hard and one in five elite. I just think it's. Yeah, it's a very passive grind at the yeah. same time. You a little, a little stackable that. totem. You get a stack up and you get a, I think that's fun. Yeah, I really like the concept of Scotizo when they added it, when they added it back in the day. Okay. I I just I just thought this up and I remember to ask you. I didn't I never wrote it down though, so I'm just gonna ask now. What are your thoughts on making it so clues say that you've completed it as soon as you get the casket? So not when you open it, but as soon as you've completed the trail and you get the casket, then it says you've completed it. So as in like so you can like just stack them up for the high scores? Yes, exactly. Good or bad or neutral? Very neutral. I'm kind of impartial to that. Also, it'd be cool just to get an accurate high skulls, though. Like, it'd be good for that sense, for sure. That's what I think. But at the same time, it'd be kind of scary, because like, like what Lee was when it first came out, where people just stopped all points and all claimed, like, on the last day. And you'd probably see the ranks change so much. Oh, yeah. If they did that at the same time. 
Because we don't know who's stacking up clues in the background for all we know. Yeah, I feel for like... We know, for all we know, you know, so Casey's got what, 6.3k mass. It's got someone that's got like 5k mass in the bank will never know. <laughs> yeah, no, like... I mean, happen, you but, you can like, know, kind of. I mean, I guess with DMs, you can't really like, know. Yeah, like, I mean, word would definitely spread us if we just want to have, like, a big stack of clues, for sure. Yeah. Like, any, in any community, it would definitely spread. Yeah, it would spread, but also you could just see somebody's, like, I don't know, if somebody's doing Seractus, they had, like, 400,000 Seractus, KC, and, like, zero clues done. You're like, hmm, I wonder if they're stacking, you know. Just kind oh, of we got the one clue in the fault that they're, like, doing clues. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy is Drum had one master Completed yeah. on his account, and now he has 501. <laughs> like, what yeah, the everyone was, fuck? Everyone, everyone was saying that in stream, saying, well, Chad, he, got, he just got one clue, and he thought, I'm going to stack 500 afterwards. That is insanity. I respect him pulling out, you know, to go for 500 of them, though, to be fair. And he had a really good stream out of it, you know. Oh, yeah. He, no, pulled, he pulled more than anyone did on, on the category that day. Yeah. So, 3K, 3K viewers. Yeah. Oh, I'm I, think happy. I think he's averaged like 2,600 or something at the end of it. Yeah. Like an entire stream, that's insane. Insane, and that was I like, dream of that. yeah, that was not relying on any host. I'm, I know he got hosted a lot, but it's like that wasn't reliant on any of it. He I mean, he said himself in all times on the stream, he never played up more than like 200 viewers. <laughs> I, I he and came again literally 15 times. That. He, he was in my stream for like uh, a few minutes before his, and he was like, and I was just telling him, I was like, dude, yeah, like. He was like, "Yeah, I'll probably average like 200, I think." And I'm like, "Dude, you're gonna pull like 500 plus." And I had, and when I rated him before the stream even started, he was pushing over a thousand already. I'm like, "Jesus yeah, Christ!" Yeah, a thousand just on his waiting screen. It was. Nuts. I was, I was saying 500, but I didn't, I didn't want to be like, because like, I was thinking like a J stream, you know, so where he can pull like 800, 900 viewers on a hard cask a day. Yeah, but it's like, kind of nuts how many clues he's getting done just to be first, and he got like, you know, Jace is a literal animal, dude. He really is. <laughs> he, I mean, yes, he's a main, so he has the easier methods, but like the ability to like do content every single day and then as well stack 370 hard clues every single week. Yeah, I was going to say, he's literally doing that stream every week. Every Not single like, week, he has, a, like, without fail. 300 caskets like every time. Like, don't you burn out at any point? Like, just like, Jesus, dude. Like, I guess if you have like the ability to do a four point six ball grind, your mindset is just there to do anything. I guess. Yeah. No. Literally. Like it's it's insane to me. So yeah. Animal. I like it though, and I'm glad he got those two third age in that day. Range top in the. Amulet. Again, the range, range top. And yeah, yeah, I think it was the amulet. Yeah. Yeah, the range top. You know who Nos is, by the way. The name rings a bell. Don't know them personally though. Um, K space N A U S S. Where is it? Right here. Um, oh, yeah. Actually, yeah, I do. yeah that, that does ring a bell. Yeah. Uh, the name rings a bell. But I don't know them, though. He has four third age pieces on his iron. It's pretty good. That's more than I think I've ever known. Of. Yeah, I think, I think he is the highest amount of anybody. And he has. You would like anybody's. Like, his pieces are insane. He has a pickaxe. <laughs> A uh, third age game. range top, a cloak, and a third age druidic top. I mean, I think Lucius Druid and Vigas win by themselves, so no mind anything else on top of that. Yeah, no, it is disgusting. And the thing is, he's only done like 300 masters. Uh, let me look him up. Maybe, let me not. I'll, I'll say Sam, there's always one person that gets lucky. <laughs> like, this, uh, he, he had these pieces months ago, but like right now, he's done 3,400 total clues. Um, 457 masters, 200 elites, 700 hards. That's disgusting. <laughs> like four third age pieces. He is not even on rate for one yet. Like, Didn't he guild at all? Was it just literally all third age rolls he's had? He's probably had a bunch of gilded too, I'm assuming. But like, I don't really care. I like gilded to me is just like, it's like Anku or Tuxedo or anything like that. Yeah. It's just like. I mean, actually, not... actually, Gilded is like, at least you didn't roll potions. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's a nice, it's a bonus drop in that sense. You don't get, you know, potions. Yeah. And I really like Gilded. It's very nostalgic to look at. It is. But not it... that I would know that I've had many pieces of it, but you know. I get pretty spoon. I've had like nine pieces of Gilded and only one dupe. Two pieces of Gilded. And I can have them both together. That is horrible, dude. At least you got third age, like... Um, um, I, know, I said that 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 at least takes away how unlucky I was on everything else with clues. But yeah, like, only having two. I can't wear them together, man. I can't wear them together. 
Yeah. It's literally a spear and a square shield. That's so shit. <laughs> yeah, I have two spears. And then the rest I mean, are unique. I mean, to be fair, a spear came in useful for call. <laughs> I had a 1% drop rate of getting Onyx Bolts with that spear. Really? I Onyx Bolts with that. <laughs> That's so funny. Three for three. Who'd, who'd have thought, you know, Guild Spear would bring GP? Yeah. It literally just looks like a stick. A little golden butt plug on top. Mm. The Hast looks really good, though. I like the Hast stuff. Yeah, I want that. I want the best gilded piece. Wait, wait, let me ask you. What is what is the best gilded piece? Ooh. I always, I always want to go with, like, plate legs, because it's just nostalgic, but I don't. Mm. The kite shield's pretty cool as well for, for, for gilded. The best, probably probably the best gilded... For me, but the all-time yeah, best gilded piece is... Is the chain body the pineapple <laughs> top? Oh yeah, it uh, is. Actually, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've seen someone cosplay that too, of like yeah. green hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is OG, dude. Like that is a gangster flex. The gilded chain is actually the best gilded piece. Plate legs are probably second. I say plate legs are very nostalgic. Cause also, when you see like Zerkas back in the day, they used to have gilded legs. Yeah, that was like the you know the fast game look for Zerkas back then. Mm. Okay. Um, I guess. Yeah. I guess I'll see one more thing with clues. I think the sixth best I knew back in the day was Warhead, and I'm pretty sure he had three melee footage pieces back then. Yeah. Somebody said he had four total melee pieces, and this is back in yeah. like 2016, and three of them were unique. Yeah, I think he had two kite shields. That is stupid lucky. Like. Actually, it's just stupid because I'm pretty sure he had only done like 300 hard clues at that point. Yeah, yeah, he, he had done many. <laughs> that is okay. So, getting a third age at 300 hard clues in general is already like going 10 times lucky, but then having oh. four pieces and they're all third, they're all melee set is like just absolutely unheard of. Honestly, I've not spoken to or seen Warhead for many years, but from what I remember, he had the legs helmet and two kind of shields, and I think he had. I could have sworn he had like another third HP since then as well, but it wasn't the plate body. But I don't remember. Fuck. I've not seen it for like four years. Four that five is years now. so disgusting. There's a guy in my stream, Almore. He hasn't been there in a while, but um, he had he had done like a like a hundred hard clues and got third age range bottoms, and then got another third age range bottoms like a few clues later. Like that's gotta hurt just to get the same third age piece. like yes it's lucky as hell but at the same time like really you're gonna roll the same third age piece like oh that's bad um but yeah nos is it oh the other person uh, who always is the biggest spoon of all time no matter whatever happens to him even if he goes 10 times the rate on a mace if he ever does nightmare is arland iron cub yeah <laughs> he is the Biggest spoon of all time. Third age longsword, third age bow. Both from elites within like 20 elites of each other. I'm trying to I've known Cub before. It's been like at least six years. Oh yeah, he's we'll an OG. We'll go, we'll go back to Farmy and Cub. He's an OG. And he is the biggest spoon. He's the biggest Iron Man spoon. I would say Nos is up there with him now too though. But like the bow and the longsword, like holy shit. You can't flex harder than that. Pretty sick. I, I would love one weapon. I wouldn't say no to any of them. Yeah, the oh, wand. The long sword, long sword give me nostalgia for the character long sword back in the day because that was my favorite weapon I had. The long sword's so sexy. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of Druidic. I know it's really expensive and rare, but it's like, it's just not that iconic range melee or mage. Yeah. You can't replace me like that, though, really. Yeah. Okay. Um, Daniel Wang asks, if you could make any changes to Corp via mechanic mechanics drop table, what would they be? We kind of already have covered this a little bit, but, like... <laughs> um... Hmm. I don't really know, to be honest. I'm trying to think what you just got me killed and you look off normally. <laughs> I feel like Corpse fine as is. Um, I don't know. 
Corp is just Corp. It's always been this way. It's super rare to get an Ellie. It takes, you know, a thousand hours to get a pet. It's just kind of like the way it is. And it's it's not like a te it's not like Nightmare where it's just tedious, just constant engagement. Like you can chill and do Corp. Yeah. So I feel like it's in a good place. And I feel like any changes Besides what I just said earlier with that luring thing, I think that would be really cool. As long as it costs something, it's not just given to you freely. I feel like that could be balanced pretty well. Yeah, Some I mean, I think cops balance is mechanics wise, but yeah. Um, I'd really say to be honest, I don't think they would change much with it in um, Aris Three. I don't know. I think it's fine as is. Yeah, I think mechanics with cop are fine as they are. Yeah. I don't think they could really change to it. Maybe they could change the call aspects. I know call sometimes a bit weird, but I think that's just how the core is. Yeah. So there's more ways you could deal with call now, also you can stun it or you could kill it. And it's kind of weird. I still see some Iman that do the stun method, like the OG method of stunning it, with like the mythical crossbow and bolts. It's so Fair easy just to Elder Maul it. Just it's always lined up perfectly if you're just attacking it. It's really nice. Jesus, I'm taking a beating this kill. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> like, I wouldn't change anything. Like <laughs> It's always the kill that you don't bring your full inventory of like food that you start just taking a ton of damage. I can see Daniel's mentioned about drop tables as well there. Again, I like the cop drop table. I think it's relatively balanced for what it is. As long as they don't add a divine, I'm happy. I guess. Yeah, if they added a divine now, that would be fucked up for you. I think if they're gonna add a divine now, they need to put it somewhere else. It's already failed at cop twice. Yeah, that's just weird. I don't mind like a, I don't mind like a, like a divine inspired shield if it can be a divine like an inspiration towards it would be kind of cool if it was from something else like red story so no i i, I mean figure do anything else with cough maybe just update some of the old outdated seeds maybe since watermelon seeds are not worth anything anymore and they're not like the best seeds anymore watermelon also, you'll seeds mention, yeah. you'll mention the adamant arrows again like i said not really useful drop in this day and age. I don't know why Adam and Arrows are still being dropped by stuff. And Bass. I mean, Bass and Temporos, fine. That's Temporos. But like Nightmare, you're giving Bass and Addy Arrows? Like, what? <laughs> what is what is literally the reason for this? That's just one thing I want to check yesterday, actually. Does Copium still drop Adam and Arrows and Arrows 3? I don't think they've ever changed the drop table too much in Arrows 3. I think it's usually about the same still. Uh, do they still... Yeah, they still drop Adam and Arrows. Wow. Even arrows they still drop adamant arrows. And they've dropped nothing else range wise either. Like nothing new since then range wise. Alright. Shout out Pinata. He says um he's rank one agility, by the way. At least it says on his profile. He was rank two, but he's technically rank one. Anyway, he says this is not a suggestion, but my mom loves the Sebe cast. I highly recommend it to everyone. It's truly a family affair. Shout out. Shout fucking out. Okay. Um, Yoda's Yoda <laughs> says, this is for you, Jack. I'd love to yeah, hear I the think. corpse story. Ups and downs. What was going on in your head? What made you keep going? How rough was it mentally? Any funny things happen along the way? Um, where do I start with that one? <laughs> where do I start? I guess when I, was when I first died, cough. Also, it was before we had an iron cave. So I had to deal with raggers quite often. Yikes. That was that was a fun time, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Like when I first came, like when I first came back to the game, mostly for an Iron Man, I never really thought Corpus might have even be able to get. I thought Siddles was like just like a dream until I saw people like Sig, and Curse and the Lake could all be like the OG Iron Man that used to do it back in the day. I was like, okay, actually, it's possible to get you know Sigils on an Iron Man. So I, I never knew any intention to do Corp originally at all. Never had any plans to do it. Until I started to feel just and still cut, you know, kill cop and get the jewels. Um, I guess also the downs would be getting crashed a lot. That was that was the fun experience of it, I guess, back in the day. That sounds so miserable. 
Yeah, it happens. That was that was part of the grind you have to accept back then. Yeah. You know, I did um, just shy of 200 kills in that game before they changed it. I came back when they did. So. My goal was just to get one sigil back in the day, which I got. And I was happy to retire off pretty much until they changed it. Was it a spectral or an arcane for your first? Yeah, spectral. Oh, yeah. 1,200 KC, you said? Just shy of 1,200, yeah. Damn. 1,184 was the first one. Back Damn. in the day, that was the secondary sigil for an Iron Man. Wow. Just behind uh, Kabuchi, if you remember him. Who? Kabuchi. Okay, I don't... Kind He's a very old name. And anyone that's known Iron Man from like the last five years will know who he was, though. But he went just shy of 1800 drive for his first sigil back then. Obviously, now it's, it's pale compared to some of the people that I know from Call. Like, obviously, X Spells is one person that I've known who was 4895 drive for their first sigil. 4895. Jesus Christ. For a, for a first sigil. Yeah, that is. I think he's in my. Sh yeah, he looks in my stream from time to time still. He's got a spectral now as well. He's got at least two sigils, but that's in like 6,300 kill count. Yeah. It is. It's, it's my one you want to imagine being in. Like, I can stomach a grind, but that would just. That would demote him so much. Yep. That's fuck fine. that. That's literal agony. I just wasted half a milli GP because I died twice. Like, I literally tried to go get my shit and I died twice. He, he somehow stomped me. If he makes me better, I did that on day one of the update with the Griff Stones. So I died twice at the same time. <laughs> so miserable, dude. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. But I just wasn't used to the uh, Griff Stone mechanics. I didn't really catch just like right click to it originally. Yeah. No, I like, literally I, I did that and then I reclaimed, I reclaimed all my shit so I had to pay the full fee again because I reclaimed all my shit and then instantly died. Like, that was the worst. Anyway. Got a look off. <laughs> and in terms of like I guess funny moments though like I said obviously back when we didn't have like the iron cave we also got some very random people that walked in there one guy was a full noob in full granite at, like level 60 he decided to wander in and obviously I was like hard focused on trying to kill cop because I was doing the food kill methods back then because it was kind of the meta to do mm. obviously faster kills less chance of getting crashed and he just stood in the middle of the room by himself just chilling because obviously cop was aggroed to me then also caught me with one tiles it always does every once in a while during a kill. The guy wasn't praying anything. The uh, mage went to him and hit me at 61 and killed him. One <laughs> <laughs> and he never came back. Oh god. <laughs> he never came back for his stuff. <laughs> uh, I had that clip at one point, but sadly uh, lost a time now. He was the granite warrior. He just walked in, chilled in the middle of the cave, and then cops had to just one hit him. Sad. What a champion. Yeah. It, it went out in glory. <laughs> was there ever a time where you were just going to give up? Or was there never a time? I mean, it definitely felt more and more taxing as time went on, but I had no plans to give up on it, though. I would have happily still been there right now if I didn't get it, you know, 10 days ago, 11 days ago now. If I was still there. Jeez. Yeah, now that's... People ask I, me, and I'm assuming you're the same way, where, like, people ask me, like, when are you going to... Like when when are you giving up on the mace? You know, like you don't. You, one does not simply give up. Like, you... yeah, I've always said. I've always said the last kill I'll do with one that gets me in the alley. <laughs> yeah, it's just you can't you can't give up on a grind when you really. It's like that item is essential to. You. It's like it is it is a part of you, even though you don't have it. It's like you need it. I mean, obviously, like some of the downs obviously going dry, like. And also, I wasn't the unluckiest person at COP. I also wasn't very lucky either in terms of sigils what I should have had. How many sigils did, should you have had, and how many did you get? I uh, we'll quickly check what the amount actually should be. Uh, I should have had just over 20. I ended up finishing with 14. So I didn't finish that bad. But being six drowned and growing, that you know, takes several thousand, well, potentially several thousand hours. That's a lot of time potentially lost by not getting sigils. Jeez. So I actually finished behind by six and a half sigils of what I should have had. Which is, you know, about 3,000 plus kills. Yeah, that's pretty bad. You know, I was just shy of double Curtis's kill count and I had the same amount of sigils as him. Hey, who knows? Maybe when you go for the Jar of Spirits, you'll get like three honest, more Ellie's. Honest, honest is what I kept saying on stream. I was like, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to spoon sigils now that I'm done with them. Yep. And I'm like, kind of jacking all that dry anymore. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, definitely not that dry anymore. That's sort of how I feel about or that's sort of like my position in Nightmare. It's like I'm due like five drops. 
I feel so bad for like looking at his, his uh, collection log and all the Inquisitor pieces for old. It's just he's at thirty rolls. He's legitimately three times right. He's it's a one in ten to roll the mace on the Inquisitor's table, and he's rolled it he's thirty literally, times. It's literally, literally like rolling the Elliot's obviously one in seven, obviously. Yeah. Yep. That's so painful. Run the wrong side every time. I he'll, don't. He'll get it. He'll, he'll get it this year. I'm. I have full confidence he's going to get it this year. As will you as well. So. I don't have full confidence in that at all. Hopefully for Lake. I want Lake to get a mace before me. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to like let mace. I don't want to let Lake continue and just with. I want him to get it and then me shortly after. That would be optimal. Yeah, I'd, I'd be agreeing on that one. To be fair, then. Yeah, he's because like I see him like yes, he has every drop, and he's like I think he's on rate for drops. He gets he he gets his drops every hundred kills, which is nice, but. Yeah, I mean, I, same day we had like four drops. I do not want to go another twelve hundred kills and not have a mace. Like, probably will happen, but God. I mean, hopefully it will happen. Though. Hope that will be the case. But now, I guess going back to also more of Yoda's questions in terms of, like keeping me going. It's also one that I'm very lucky that I have a very good opinion in my stream that wants to even get these grinds finished. And I always feel obliged to get the grinds done because of how much they always support me with that kind of stuff. And I've always wanted to have an early, which was something that always kept me going as well. Like, also, ironically, before I stopped playing in 2011, I was saving up for an Elijah back then. Unironically. That's funny. And then I'll say I burnt out the game when I was going for it. And also, now I could just buy one whenever I want in that game because they're so cheap. But Did you ever watch Three Dudes One Scape on Twitch? Yes, I think I hosted them once. Many, many, <laughs> many. I loved those guys. The professor. Um, who are the other? There was, there was a couple of people. I think there was another one that did like a duo series as well, like similar kind of um, personalities as well. Yeah. No, it was Billy Mays, the professor, and I can't remember the last guy's RSN. Fuck. I'm but, sure you could probably look up someone and find that. Yeah. But, no, but they were. But no, I do remember those guys. Yeah. I seen them yeah. They were the guys that did like the Ellie service, or uh, not service, Ellie. Uh, why did I just say service? That's not the word I was thinking of. Ellie, uh... what word am I thinking of? It's just something like they did an Ellie. Uh... God, what is the word for it? I can't think of it. Um, basically, where they just do a one, they do a oh a series. That's right, not service. A series. They did an Ellie series where they did like a um thing where they just had an Ellie and then they had a rebuild from an Ellie, and so it kind of reminds me of like. The good old days when the Ellie was the greatest thing in the game and like the rebuilding from it, just Ellie only. <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers watching Three Dudes One Scape. Shout out those guys. I used to camp in their stream all the time. Yeah. Oh man, I never tried to watch them too often, but I was aware of, of them back in the day. It's kind of shame you see like a lot of people that have kind of come and gone on Twitch over the years. They have been some real gems that have, you know, had a great time and you know, they've had to move on with things. Yeah. No, I, yeah. Yeah, kind of, it's kind of sad in a way. You see these, like, legends and the, these gems in the community, and then they just, all of a sudden, they're gone. I mean, probably the one person I always enjoyed watching back in the day was Aloha. Oh, yeah. Nah, he was too, oh, he, that man, he had so much more going for him in life. Just handsome I man, think, yeah. super intelligent. I was like, you, you, and yeah, he's doing it. I mean, he's still, you know, doing his thing dead today. Yeah, now he's, he still keeps some tabs on me, to be fair. He knew I was going for the alley after I got the T-Bow. He was still aware of what I was going for. But he, that's kind of like I was inspired, like, what I want to do with, like, stream stuff was because of his. Oh, I just yeah. liked how laid back, like, Tyler was. Yeah, no, he had a Very great, he had a great stream. Yeah, I miss it, man. I generally miss it. Yeah. He was actually... He DM'd me, like, seconds before I got my first T-Bow. And so I, whenever I think of Aloha now, I think of luck. Like literally, I just think of like good luck. Like if I ever right. see his name, it's just like remind. It's just like this weird like internal thing where I see his name and I'm like, oh, that's good luck, you know. Weird how that he works. Reminds, he just reminds me of the dragon, dragon llama grind. Oh yeah. <laughs> Didn't he go? How dry did he go for that? It was like twenty one thousand or something. It's obviously very dry back then. I'll see people have since you know overtaken that now for dry streaks, but. Yeah. Yeah, I said him and Kurtz were two of the driest white ones back in the day for a hammer. So, yeah. Just going back to three dudes one scape, I just I just 
thought of this one stream. They did a 24 hour stream where one of the guys jumped on a mini trampoline for 24 hours straight, just nonstop jumped on the <laughs> mini trampoline for 24 straight hours as their stream. It was the funniest shit I had ever seen. He's outside just jumping on this trampoline for 24 hours. He's like, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> but he kept jumping. I don't know. He kept going for that long. I don't think I could even do that for more than an hour. Oh, yeah. No, it just looked horrible. It was so funny, though. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I remember Aloha yeah. streams. And uh, do you, did you ever watch Say Allo when he used to stream back when, like, hardcore release? Yeah, that's that was uh, – I found him through uh, Fur back in the day. Zalo. Oh, yeah. The forever rank four meme that he had attached to him as well. Oh yeah. Oh, there's forever rank four now. He's like rank seven, I think. Now is he or is he rank eight? Oh, he's dropping big time soon. Yeah, he's gonna be. Is Fat still, is he, about to pass him. Does he still? Does he still play out there? No. I've not really seen him online no. too much. Nope, he doesn't play anymore. That's a shame. Same with uh, Lasby. Lasby was another one of those skillers that just doesn't even play. Doesn't, they don't even log in. No, that's a shame. I I always liked Allah. Yeah, Allah was awesome. I always looked up to him. I remember watching his Deadman streams, they were fun. Yeah. He I was... don't know if I saw this. Do I saw this Deadman account added, actually? Because I know like, he had me on that a while back. I don't uh, know. No, I got rid of it for space because I knew he didn't play anymore. Good times. Yeah. Dead Aller. Yeah. Good times. He was a legend. What, what does he do these days? Do you, do you have any idea what he does these days? Uh, pff, I have no idea. I don't, I don't really keep tabs. Probably just focusing on IRL. He was yeah. like he was one of those people I just never thought would burn out. Yeah, because he was always up there. Yeah, like, all the just time. always gaming. He'd pull out those rambles like once every few months or like once every year. Turned out to be. I don't know if you ever watch his bank videos on YouTube. But, yeah. I'm probably I'm just stretched back far for that one. Yeah, no, he had like he had like the five year of Iron Man bank video where he gambled like twenty five of his infernal capes and everything. Just such a good video. But yeah, it didn't. I don't know. Like all he and then he streamed the the twisted league where he got a Tebow. Like he literally pulled a Tebow, posted on Twitter, and he's like, "Okay, I'll stream this." And then right after leagues, he just never logged into his main again. Yeah. Rip. It's a shame, not. Yeah. But, you know, he had an impact at the same time. So. Yep. And I said in that screenshot, he was third at the time. He was right behind me. Yeah, he was always up there, and now, yeah, just drop. I wonder if, like, somebody like that, like, comes back, you know? Like, I wonder if he'll come back, like, hard, you know? Like, does that happen? Like, do you think that'll happen? Mm, like, I mean, I guess it's just not him back. specifically, but just people like that that really go far, fall off the face of the earth, and then, like... Because, like, I can't even imagine Lelador coming back to, like, his main account going hard again, you know? Nah, I, I don't seem to have all these days. I see him in occasional streams every now and then still there. Yeah. Same like Leslie, but... Yeah. yeah that's how I think Leslie's play games, which is leagues. I've seen him in leagues every time he's played that. Hmm. I've never seen him in the end game since, just leagues only. Yeah. I'm a rune... I'm not really a gamer. I'm just a runescaper. <laughs> I, like, literally, like, I just don't... I don't play... There's no other game that interests me besides this. No, nah, I feel on that one. I like sideway games that are like handhelds and stuff, but um, I've always kind of stuck with arrows. Yeah. Never really gone away. But uh, I'll see, going back to Yoda one last time as well, for, like the mentally uh, thing, mentality thing. Yeah, go ahead. I, I found it okay. I think it was just the drive because that got to me. But like I said, having the community I had was really helpful for that. <laughs> like, they got to this week, you know, sure alongside me, so it, was, it wasn't just me. <laughs> Shout out your community. In Honestly, I'm really grateful for what I have. Yeah, Genuinely. they're awesome. I go into your stream, it's just positivity. It's nice. It's all memes at the same time, though. Yeah, but it's like it's like wholesome. It's like it's like wholesome <laughs> banter. That's what's nice. Yep, that's that was what I was trying to build. I Did you one of the fun, like funny final month for the cock grind was when I got ten thousand kills and everyone was at the entrance. That was fun. Aww. We had like fifty people crammed in at cop and cop just acted so weird because of that. <laughs> it just randomly stopped attacking after the time. It was weird. <laughs> It broke up having that many people at the entrance, genuinely. That's, that's funny. I never experienced that with cop in any of my kills apart from that kill. Interesting. Did you ever, no, like, I'm just curious if you ever had, like, nights where you would, like, 
stay up and think how long it could really be <laughs> like because i i feel that currently with my mace i'm only just over two times dry but it's like sometimes i genuinely am scared like this might take eight times rate or something stupid like did you ever feel that where it's like the 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 worst thing that could happen going nine times rate for an ellie or something that ever like cross your mind make you just horribly depressed i try not to think about it personally <laughs> <laughs> like i'll say i was always made aware of one person who was dry the me on an ellie like for the men's and that was 2277 <sighs> i don't i don't know if he still has the ellie or not yet but he's like 20.3k without an ellie Christ. so i knew what could happen and that'd be another year at least of me doing cop to get there well not like a year like another eight or nine months to get there yeah that's horrendous uh, how many kills did you average a day uh, it varied really because I did a lot more than when lockdown first happened. Yeah, I guess uh, like I when you started going hard, like how many did you like maintain on average ish? Uh, for a lot of it, fifty. That is insane. But like I said towards the end, I started going down to like twenty five, thirty. Yeah, that's so many though. Like e even doing twenty five kills a day, that's a that's at least five hours just. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dude. Respect. Good times. All right. Um, I'm Quarty says thoughts on the trend of people skipping mid game content to rush end game PVM, even on hardcores. Do you think this is a reason for people burning out of the game? And is this good or bad for the long term? Uh, I guess health of the game. Mm. Thanks, he says. It's hard to say on that one, really. I mean, it's down to people's own personal players to help them to do stuff like that. Like AOC, people like Alfie, Roy D, Bowie, and all those kind of players, like, create new accounts and obviously rush for content because they know, like, what the content is and what they want to do on their accounts. And I see a lot of the stuff is now very streamlined in terms of Nick and the prep done as well. So you could actually just rush that stuff, but I don't know. It's hard to really say. It's down to people's own play styles when it comes to that kind of thing. Yeah. I feel um, I feel like it's beautiful that people get to choose, you know, what they want to do. If they want to rush, that's cool that RuneScape allows that. Um, I, mean, I mean, yeah, it might pressure more players to think that they should do the same. And they'll see when it doesn't go well for them, they may feel burnt out from that. I can't see that kind of side of it. My whole thing issue with like people rushing things is how poorly things are scaled like for example tob yeah. is not scaled well it it almost encourages just like I, I don't know it's like it's like encouraging leeching from for how tob scales it's kind of similar to uh similar not the same at all but like nightmare is you can literally one plus one it you could have like a dude like you don't have to have that impressive of an account to start the nightmare grind if you were alting it. That's going to be changing in a few weeks. Um, yeah. But like it kind of is like you can literally just go grind out a bludgeon or even a hosta, go to nightmare and have like a tank for you do most of the work. And as long as you do 60% of the damage, you'll get, you know, you can pull out 12 minute kills. And I feel like, I feel like scaling is a big reason why things are easy to just rush. Yeah, I know people like want to see Nightmare change, like in terms of just actual things like solos though. Like I don't know, like skip like one of the fizz or not, but obviously changing the drop rates to reflect that. I don't know how you'd feel about that, sir. They no, honestly, I've I said this on my last stream. I kind of feel the same way as you, where like you're okay with corp being changed. You you don't want people to just suffer. You're not like an evil person no. like that. You'd be fine. I feel the same way. Honestly, I feel like the best thing that they could do to Nightmare is double the drop rates double as in make a one in 1200 one in 600 because um right now an orb like going for a harmonized orb takes 600 hours i feel like that's just too stupid it's too stupid and honestly at this point even after the mace even after even after i even if i had like completed nightmare fully i would still be fine with them changing that because i feel like nightmare is just in such a bad spot but instead of just changing the drop rates, they need to uh, just change all the scaling. Make it so masses are viable. Make it so one plus one is not a thing. Make it so like the damage you do is like the drop chance you get. There's a lot of things that need to be changed. But honestly, the drop rates are too extreme. They are too extreme. 
The other thing you can obviously add against those is how much the items are now starting to crash. And just increasing they're... the drop even more is going to obviously change even more. Yeah, but they're not good. Like, the thing is... <laughs> Oh, yeah, the price doesn't reflect how good they are. Obviously. Yeah, so, like, they're not even that good of weapons. Like, and are, like, literally, Nightmare Drops are so incredibly niche. They're not as good as we think they're good. Like, pe the player base thinks they're good because they're so expensive, and that's just because they're rare. And the reason they were so inflated for so long, like, a Mace was 900 mil at some point, was just because, like, it just takes so long to get and it's so tedious. But, I mean, where do you think the prices could settle down one? Honestly, like I, imagine, I imagine the Mace will probably go between somewhere between like the blade and the rapier like between 100 and 200 probably down the line it depends point. it depends if they doubled the drop rates made it twice as common but if they if the drop rate stayed the same which is what i'm assuming i don't think jagex has any plans to really affect drop rates but uh personally i think a mace should be about 250 mil armor should have only ever really camped out at like 80 mil each the armor is literally bandos like it's not that good. People have this like hard on for Inquisitor. It's like it's nice for that's very niche scenarios like Nightmare itself and CMs, but like other than that, Bandos does the trick in most yeah. scenarios. So I think the armor should have always kind of camped around like eighty to hundred mil. The yeah, fact that it was five hundred mil like, for so long is crazy. Things go dropped like just to see your prices at some point. Yeah, What's I don't think it'll ever. I don't think it'll ever drop to just this year because. Like, what's the likes now? Like, 8 mil. Probably. Chest is like, chest, not chest, it's like, what, 9 mil something now as well? Like, I don't even. Price. <laughs> I don't even have Inquisitors in my bank. I literally just store it in my POH. I just don't even look at it. I have no idea what the prices are. <laughs> yeah, but that's my kind of like, I, I don't care if people rush it. If people rush content, I just think it needs to be balanced better where. TOB is not like literally you could have a person in full max with a scythe and then uh, like another person on the team with full max and a blade of sail door and then you could have a 40 combat dude with a rune crossbow and the 40 combat dude with a rune crossbow is getting the same drop rate as the guy with the sail door because if you don't get MVP in a room yeah, you get the same point yeah the there's there's no combat. second MVP yeah it's just stupid how that works so they have to change how the whole point system works. So if they ever want to change it, so exactly it they'd like, have to like, do an overhaul. I think would still have a better chance of getting things over someone that might not necessarily leech, but you know what I mean. Like I just feel like things should be based off of damage. Uh, that's the best way to do it. It's the most like optimal. I feel like is like you do a certain amount of damage in a room. That there's your like percentage of getting the drop. I think that's what people liked about James originally was obviously you could visibly see the points everyone got and obviously it really tailed to how like you were to get something. Obviously getting team raids. You'll see the person get an item with like five K points that happens. But more often than not you'd always see the people at least with the points have a more or less even chance than anyone else to get the points, like for um the drops. Yeah. Obviously TOB they did something slightly different for that one. TOB is just weird. Nightmares is even worse. Well, yeah, Nightmare is horrible. Like, at least you have to at least do 60% of damage to get 100% drop rate, but it's Nightmare in general is just... Yeah. I mean, that's the one thing I don't mind about TOB, obviously, since I'm not going with anyone that does bring, like, you know, the scuff gear is that while I'm not still on the best gear myself yet, still see so using a tent whip and stuff, I still have a really good chance of actually at least getting items to improve my setup. Yeah. TOB so, has great yeah. drop rates, too. It's like 12 hours on average if you don't die to get a purple in your name. I believe. <laughs> like, Nightmare's like 36 hours to get a purple in your name, and like, then there's TOB and Chambers that takes about 12 hours. It's so much, so much more enjoyable. Actually, what are your thoughts on someone like uh, Damo doing what he does with Chambers? Have you um, yeah, I know. I've, I've watched his stream, Damo, and that's pff, honest. So, when Chambers came out, it was initially supposed to be skilling and PVM. It was supposed to be like everything you do in game. It was never just a PVM based thing. Never yeah. exclusively PVM. It even dropped a harpoon at the time. And like Yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. So like it was it was never meant on being exclusively PVM. So honestly, the fact that his dude like fishes the entire time or whatever the hell he does, thieves. I don't know what he exclusively does on his 
hardcore, but I've never I've never really watched his hardcore perspective too much. Yeah. So I don't really I've known I've known Dam of quite a bit, but I didn't realise like what the stuff he was doing to like early a month ago. Yeah, like, same. Like the skill stuff. Yeah. So but for those the way you can like tail it so you can also he has a good chance of getting an eye on his hardcore every time. Or his iron every time. Yeah. For those that don't know, Damo is a I mean, I'm assuming most people know that are listening to this because his streams have really popped off because of it. Yeah, but really, he does really have to. Yeah. yeah, he does like one plus thirty. He's even done a one plus fifty uh, chambers where he feeds his hardcore purples. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but uh, also it's a very long way to process to do it though. Like it takes him literally like twelve hours. <laughs> yeah, right. it is. Crazy. Like you put in the time to do it. To be fair, like you have to give credit in that regard. Yep. No, and I think it's totally fair. I I think uh, the fact that his hardcore is doing something, it's you know, it's taking advantage of the system, but like it's still. It's not like it's glitching anything or bug abusing. It's just how the mechanics it's just, work. It's just literally using the mechanics of what Reds is like. Yep. And I'll see how it scales when I'll see when you lose points in one person's thing, but I'll see so the same chance to roll something on this. Yeah. I'm not fully sure the way he does it, nor do I want to really like get it. Cause I've, I've asked my stream and it took too long to like understand everything, but <laughs> I get the main thing that's happening and, yeah, I think yeah, it's like totally fair. Dads at the end, so obviously not affect the team points too much, but also gives his, you know, his iron is hard to cause the best chance of getting loose instead of pretty much max points already. Yeah. But he can, like, lower his mains down to a point where he will actually have a good chance of rolling purples and mocks. He doesn't need them on his main. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I think we probably kind of, like, trended off the whole, you know, burning out part, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I said, like I said before, the content is there for people to actually like, try and skip and get to earlier. Like you said, with TRB and stuff, if they have like people that are willing to do that. Yeah. And like the... it's, it's kind of people's mindset. Some people can just handle that kind of thing more than others. Yeah. People that burn out, that's that's not Jagex's issue. Like the reason people burn out is they don't have enough goals. That's their own problem. And like I think I think if there were more things in the middle, like obviously they are still adding stuff to I'm in like that are kinda of, like in the middle ground, like mid game stuff. Like obviously the is it how do you pronounce it? Fornus? Fornus? Dungeon? Dungeon? I'll see what Thrachnus is. Oh, Forthos? Forthos, I can you? I, I don't even live there, so. <laughs> also, they had like a lot of extra content there, like options for mid game mindset to get other things done. I'm a big fan of like mid game updates. I know a lot of people meme kind of just get angry when yeah, they focus. It's, it's kind of useless to those like, you know, high end yeah. players, but. As long as they're good it, it, updates. The Soul, the Isle of Souls was really underwhelming. They really could have done more to that. I mean, the thing is, obviously, it's better to have something to add to it than something to take away from it. True. So, also, they can always add stuff to it in the future. Like, That's obviously, true. members, obviously, and obviously, you went around when Zay first came out. But Zay was definitely uh, something different to what it was before it is nowadays. It was fucked. <laughs> Miles of just farmland that was pushing plows and stuff. Yeah, I remember, I remember exploring there on the first day of release. It was definitely um, different. It was the most depressing place I'd ever seen. Well, so you got to remember who, who they had on the team at the time. It was like five people that they did that entire thing. So the fact that they managed to get like an entire landmass that at least like, was functional back in 2015. Or was it 2016? I think it was beginning of 2016, 2016 yeah. yeah. Yeah, January 2016. That's still really impressive, and also they're still adding to it now. Like they're still reworking some of the things. Yeah. They're still adding more content to it as well. I'm excited for Valamore. <laughs> yeah, the final phase one. I'm very excited for. Yeah. What they're gonna do though, we'll have to see. But I imagine they'll probably time with the uh, the Zay quest they're still working on. Yeah. And then I imagine the content will probably follow after that quest, like the final part of Zaya. So I think a lot of people do forget there's meant to be like three parts of Zay and the world just got to the second part with raids and stuff. Like raids is like part two of the whole part with Zay. There's still part three left. What is being added to Valamore? Like what is is there any like huge content that's coming out with that? Honestly, I'm not too sure. I have not really listened to the details behind it yet. I really hope like I'm a big fan of sailing now because of BC Guppy. He inspired me to love it. But I really hope Valamore is kind of like tied into like this is not going to happen but in in my little fantasy world sailing comes out and one of the perks of leveling up your sailing is as soon as you hit like 99 or something you get to finally trade with valmore and then you get to enter the city or whatnot and you get to like 
you know, I, I really just like, I have this like weird thing where like sailing has this other part to it where there's like merching where you can like go to different places and ports and like trade and stuff and just shit like that. But did you ever look into the, um, is it General Tractor? The guy on Reddit who like expands upon those kind of ideas. He made one for sailing, like when the initial thing was pitched and failed. I'm a huge fan of Gentle Tractor. I couldn't remember everything, but uh, yeah, I've seen most of his posts, and I recall the sailing one. I just can't remember everything about it. It was a math in depth post. Like I'm, I was kind of good that sailing didn't pass. Like I'm very new when it comes to a new skill and old school. I don't mind if it happens or if it doesn't. But if there was probably one I wouldn't have minded, it probably wouldn't have been. It probably wouldn't have would have been sailing. I wouldn't have minded that at all. There's so it, it many done, things it can do to sailing. It was done correctly, yeah. Of course, there's so much potential with sailing. Like, sailing could have been like an open sea version of like Dungeoneering in some sense as well. Like the aspect you could have taken away from that. Because like randomly generated, you know, parts of the map with certain goals and then you have to do every time. Go as a group or go solo. But I mean, they could still expand upon it. I mean, obviously, sailing was teased as like a like a joke thing originally. Yeah. They put a small amount of detail into sailing. Like, if they put the same effort they put into Warden into something like sailing or artisan, maybe one of them could pass in the future. Yeah, for sure. It's just, it's just down to the player base's mindsets on new skills. Like, obviously, you're always going to have that, you know, group that are always going to be like against it. Cool thing with sailing is like, and we already expanded on it, I won't go into it too much, but like, they could literally make it PvP based as well. They could completely from scratch make a balanced sailing pvp where you basically deck your ship up with like cannons and stuff and you can legit have pvp sailing matches I think would it that... be um, like actual risks of thought would it oh be, yeah um... no you would really yeah it would be risk like i could just imagine so, yeah, like it kind of me of, like mobilizing armors i I, you say like that. I could just imagine out in like level f you know 55 wilderness like the little the end of the map where there's water right there you could have your ships go out there and just have like 1v1s <laughs> just like board their own ship like you could have cannons you could like put a plank across the uh other boat and like go fight them and stuff just like cool stuff like that i don't know there's just so much potential to it and they could balance it from scratch there's no previous meta to anything they could just i don't know i think it, it would be insane be so i don't cool. know how they'd cut, cut that in there that's like the one thing you'd have to definitely cross oh it would shot. be a huge project <laughs> massive so many beta tests too but like I think it would be so cool. And I said, I think something would have potential if it was done correctly with the amount of like depth added to it. Yeah. It's like, it's like they didn't have depth in the original sailing post when they proposed it like four years ago, but they could definitely branch more things into it now they've experienced it like what they did with warding. Like, if you incorporate so many things into sailing at the same time, it would tie in a lot of different skills too. They wouldn't take away from those skills themselves. There'd be additions with yep. the skills to help with that. Exactly. Like how exactly just tying like building a boat into construction. <laughs> Whereas like Warnos, he could easily fit, you know, some of the crafting things among a few different skills very easily. Yeah, there is but... so much potential to it. And I think eventually old school might need a new skill, but I'm not one to really, you know, quote on that yeah. topic. I'm like you know, I guess I'm not yeah, does there need to be one right now? No, but like, there's a, the game's gonna be lasting for so many years. Like, it's the same thing with like clue. Like, people are thinking of Grandmaster clues. Don't even, I don't even care about that for the next five years. Like, just don't even work on other things before that. But like, I can see it in the future being a thing. I wonder if they would expand on achievement errors or not. So, also, you know, we've combat achievements that have made Master and Grandmaster TS. Yeah. Would they ever expand upon achievement errors to be beyond elite? Yeah, I mean, so they really could. What could they be? What could they be? It's also a lot more context going to the game since the Aries have come out. Yep. It was some very difficult ones to achieve. They're just like optional ones to go for. Other than again, you know, completionist cap ideas. Would that be a thing down the line? Yeah, who knows? I... I feel like a completionist cape would be cool. I don't know how you feel about completionist cape. I don't mind it being like a cosmetic thing in the game for people to work towards. I think it's not like a best in slot. People have a lot more things for it, but at the same time... So it's like a Champions Cape-ish? Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping if they ever do add it, they can at least bring in the same engine mode that they would have for like recoil and a max cape, so you can at least have like a cosmetic version of anything you want. 
That could be cool. Recolored Max Cave sounds so cool. I mean, originally that was meant to be the case for Max Capes in this game, but there's didn't have spot to do the same thing RS3 had with it back in the day. Mm. I think now they probably could do it if they put... If it's like something special like completions here, I think they could definitely pull it off. But like I said, I'm not one to know how the stuff works with JX, like behind-the-scenes stuff. Yeah. But I think if they were going to reserve anything like that for a piece of content, that would be a perfect piece for it. It would be a best in slot, but it would be a very serious thing to actually grind for, and you could change it however you want to look at the end. What yeah, they can't do the whole fancy like you know particle effects on it, but I bet they could probably do something with it. With yeah. What are your thoughts on um, a champion's cape, max cape that acts as a max cape? So it's like a, cos a cosmetic override for it. Yes. So as I long would, as you I have a champion's cape, you can just wear it as a max cape. I would personally love that, but I would also probably go to everyone else to say, like, why would we need one kind of thing? <laughs> I want it. I, so I, would, I, would I don't love, even have a champion's cape, and I want it. I've got one. But I would love it. <laughs> I want that so bad. I don't see how anybody could be opposed to that. It's our champion's cape's already in the game. Like, why not just combine it with a max cape and make it act as a normal max cape? No additional things. Just it's just a flex. You could just, you know, it gives people. So the max cape doesn't have to be the only. A red cape doesn't have to be the only thing you can wear. If you want to go grind out a champion's cape, you can get that. I think that'd be sick. I mean, to be honest, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a difficult project to probably make a max variant of it, to be fair. Yeah, it wouldn't. I just don't. I imagine, I imagine like, Husky probably like, in a week of his, like, a week of his time to get that easily done. I want to so. see I want to see anybody's, like, opposing, like, who, like, what are the reasons to oppose that? I guess it's just to, like, the only thing I could see is that it would encourage people to go for a champion's cape, but it's, yeah, like, yeah. who cares if that encourages people to go for a champion's cape, you know, like. It doesn't actually change anything. If anything, it probably profit people that are AFK and cannonballs. Yeah. Because okay. cannonballs will drop in price as well. So it'd actually make it more viable for AFK skulls to do it for their ults and stuff. True. Yeah, I don't but, know. You know. I'm pretty sure it's never been pulled though. Like I'm sure Jax have always like, you know, acknowledged people want it. And they've always teased the idea of saying they may eventually do it, but it's just never happened. Yeah. I'd personally love it, but that's just my bias point because I actually have a champion's gift. But I would I'd have gone for it regardless. As I've already got one, so yeah, I, I wouldn't mind that personally. If they made it a thing, but I don't know how they'd make it look. Would they try and keep the crest of lines on it? Also, I don't know how they built it. I guess they could easily just add it on top of the max gear very easily if they wanted to. Yeah, but they probably have to like make sure it doesn't like, like I don't know, like not bug, but like have render issues, like anything with having like the crest on the back. Like, like animations and stuff. Yeah. Well, they also have to make all that as well. So, so that alone would also make it a little bit more complex. Still, like every kind of like animation style with the crest on it, because obviously you'd have to factor in how it'd look. Unless they can somehow incorporate that with the base map cape itself and not worry about it. A lot of people I think would just like a royal blue cape with like a gold trim. So that's basically what the chain cape would be. I really want that little lion. I want the lion though. Like, like the royal navy blue with um. The very you know yeah defined gold trim yeah i but don't I, see how anybody could be opposed that. to it i think it's cool I'd, idea. I'd, I'd, like that. Yeah, I'd like that for sure okay slay brother says or he asks for longevity's sake of the game what do you think jagex can do to keep the game relevant is it adding a raids three adding official snowflake iron man types to the game one chunks Task only. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Trails region like the or a new skill, etc. Let me put this up. I mean, yeah, we kind of just hack with some up there with like the skill idea. Like I think adding more things to fit the overall streamline of the game for everyone's experience would be really good. Like adding more content to fill like lower end mid game and also eventually more high end game stuff. Obviously, right now we have a lot of high-end players, without a doubt, that are very active. Hence, why we have like the demand for um, like Reds three and stuff, yeah. like very practically on like Reddit and Twitter and stuff. I think, uh, I mean, Reds three has got to come out. Combat achievements. I was assuming it was coming out in the next couple months. Doesn't look like it's coming out till the end of the year at earliest. Looks like. Um. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, like, the, like I said, the overall player base, it's not like all high level players. It's just like the most vocal part of the game is the high level players that want to see more content. Yeah. Since like TOB and Inferno, so of course, that's been like the most recent, like, really big updates they've had, I guess. I feel like combat achievements is going to be so good for like longevity. I was like that day if also to do with quests, like being able to speedrun them and redo them again. Yeah. Oh my god, I haven't thought of that, that in was, so that long. Would create, that would create an entire new community. That quest speedrun. quest speedrunning is like the coolest idea. I'm not even gonna do it. I just want to watch it. Yeah, I, I would honestly love to see an official thing like that happen, and I'll see it has been teased that it will happen. It's just when. Yeah, that is that sounds I'm incredible. Sure, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure that was on. It was on their ideas. I never, I never invested in helps it happen last year, but I think they had that under like one of their posts. Yep, so, they like, did. I remember. Onwards. And yeah, honestly, I'd love to see that. That'd be really good. That's just but, so exciting, dude! Imagine like all the previous quest guides are now just irrelevant. You're just gonna watch somebody speed run a quest, and that's the guide. Yeah. <laughs> like do a quest in like 15 minutes. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think would be the most satisfying one to watch someone speedrun? Uh, I'm gonna say. I won't mind seeing things like ones in part two. And I want to. I want to see. I want to see Monkey Madness too. I want to see the barge. Somebody just flying through that and not making oh, a yeah, mistake. That, that'd be cool as well, actually. Yeah. That would be a super enjoyable one to see. In terms of like the um, Snowflake I'm an account, I'll say I know you know Slayer CJ is a big you know chunk only like fan, you know inspired from obviously Puka Guy and stuff. And I'll say I know people that have obviously made theirs since then. Obviously Limpert's another one. Yep, shout out Limpert. Just watch his latest episode, King. But also like you know about some other OG Snowflakes like Caveman as well over the years. Also who's been around for. How long now? Like five, six years. Yeah, OG. When he started. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know when he started. For it, but I don't know how the engine would be able to handle stuff like that. I know a lot of people have always demanded like the idea of like a hardcore UAM, just to have like the old ultimate, like you know, no death. The true ultimate. I've already said it a million times. True ultimate experience. You cannot train it construction you cannot physically hold a looting bag and you can't die and when you die your account's deleted also you can't use shops the ultimate iron man ex the ultimate true hardcore ultimate iron man experience i mean you could kind of train construction though because you could get node planks and steel bars no 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 you, like the the skill is crossed out you just cannot train it you can't, oh, you, can't ac you can't access the house you just can't even train this yeah yeah you can't get a house you can't train it just crossed that'd out. That'd, that'd make PM really bad then with no pull. <laughs> that would be the <laughs> toughest game mode of all time. That would be so extreme, dude. There is no storing anything. Like, yeah, that's what I want. Just the most disgusting, sweatiest mode ever. You're and not it, gonna play like you'll just you just want to see people just do it. I just want to see people just suffer. I guess. Um, but I would play it. I don't know what I'd do on it, but I'd play it. Well, that, that sounds like not much, though. <laughs> that sounds like literally, like, the the whole thing would just be based on, like, skills, I I feel like, because, like, you just, like, you're actually limited to 28 spots. There is no death. There is no looting bag storage. There's nothing. You know what could be cool, though? Is oh, maybe... Nothing. Maybe you could use a bank, but you could just what you do is like whenever you get anything. Nah, no, nah, fuck it. I, I take it back. I was gonna say, what if you, you could, could like, put the bank to see, but you can take it out. Yeah, you could just like store stuff in a bank, and then once you die, you just see your bank account, and everything else, but you can't ever see it before then. <laughs> just I don't know, but now I, I like it more extreme where you can't even use a bank. The bank, the banker just tells you to fuck off whenever you talk to him. It's like get away from me. I think that'd be awesome. The most insane game mode of all time. Yeah, that'd, that'd be interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of them adding new, like, weird snowflake types, but a new game mode, completely, I'm fine with that. I mean, they kind of had that with League, mostly being locked to, you know, Zaya yeah. and also being locked to multiple regions of the game. I think that's the only thing you could have, like, an official mode would be from Leagues. Yeah. 
I think just to be able to actually keep more relevance to the game is also just to fit in more of the gaps in the game. Eventually complete the entire map as well, and also you have the content to fill that as well. Yeah. Like I said before, obviously Desert is still yet to be finished, obviously Min Minifus is obviously one thing that needs to be, you know, completed in old school. And obviously tying in like other pieces of lore, like the Majorat series and stuff, and obviously potentially even add most of the Dragon Kin since Dragon Slayer 2. You never know. I like to still be expanded upon. Also got the Dark Mare quest line to be finished off still as well. Uh, with Draken. I'd say just filling in more of the gaps will keep the game relevant still. Yeah. And also, like I said, adding other niche things like, you know, combat achievements, potentially a new skill if it ever does get re again. Also, I know it probably was a big blow to the team when Warden filled in because you know, time and patch they obviously put into that. I yeah, did, I, did, I did feel really bad for the team when that thing did fail because I thought it would actually generally pass originally. I thought it'd be very close. I, I think it finished like what sixty six percent, I think. So it wasn't that far away, but also it was still, it was still a way away from yeah. passing. Sailing just, several pounds, from, my yeah. my personal opinion is just I don't even think warding would have been that good. Warding could easily right now, the things they wanted for warding. First of all, some of them were just weird. Like I said before, you could easily fit into crafting, room crafting, and mantra. Yeah, easily. exactly. They could all just be their own thing because that's all it was. And it, in fact, they have been adding some stuff in, like obviously Soul Black, not Soul Black, um, Swan Back and Blood, Blood Back. Yeah. The kind of things were kind of themed around it. Obviously, Dag and High was also another thing that was themed around it. It's in the game now. Uh, the content has made its way into the game. It's just not been through that skill. Yep. Bit by bit. Like I said, what like I said before, if one had some potential, so we need some kind of like sync with definitely things in this game down the line. And it definitely fits some of that role a little bit. Obviously, death mechanics also fit a little bit with like item sinks, but I think we definitely need more down the line for like the long term health of the game. Yeah. Not that it matters to us as Ironman too much, but overall, it always like all our items eventually just crash down to nothing. There's like, you know, been too many things in the game. But yeah, I think Sun's probably got the most potential if they ever revisited Sailor. You could argue Artisan as well, potentially, if they look into properly. Because obviously Artisan was literally pulled in 2014 when they had to literally reach Matt and um, Ash. That was basically it. It's a really good thing a skill wasn't added in previous years, just with how small the team was. It yeah, just... Now they could de they could definitely handle a lot more now with the play, with yeah. like the play base. And it would have it would have been like a Zaya like skill. It would have just been like this bare bone piece of shit. I feel like if it was any skill that was that's, released, that's basically what it was pulled as yeah. <laughs> Now, Artisan, I'm not a fan of because um, it kind of just encourages people to just only do things on task. It's the same thing with Boss Slayer that was initially pulled. It was like, oh, you got to do your daily boss thing. You got to do it. Like, you can't do normal bosses without getting a task for it. That's what I feel about I mean, Artisan. I mean, the one thing they could have fed to it would have been like skill and catalyst, though. It was like rewards. Yeah. So but... you do those things and also you can reward people to actually get better benefits from skill and yeah. on that. I don't feel like Artisan needs to be a skill. I feel like it can be a mini game similar to like Mahogany Homes. Yeah, a good time with something like that. And obviously, yeah. some of the things you could get could help. Yeah. That's kind of what skill and creation kind of was in a way. You could also get the tools that could improve your skill and yeah. from taking part in the mini game. So, also, I think one people most generally bought was the hammers for construction and smithing. Because mm. you could double the rate with smithing and construction by having those hammers, but also they degrade very fast based on what you do. Interesting. It was very balanced for the time you spent in still in creation. Like you'd basically work out the same experience overall for doing the skill itself or not doing the minigame. But people could also just spend more time casually playing minigames and then getting rewarded for it in the future. For the same amount of time you'd sink into the skill. Interesting. And I'll see a lot of people have nostalgia over still in creation. A lot of people have always demanded it on Reddit whenever I've always browsed every now and then. Yeah, I've never, I don't even, I can't even imagine it because I've just never done it. I don't even know what it looks like or anything. So I would say if you ever got like 10 minutes to watch like old videos of it, it's, it's definitely something you'd probably enjoy. Isn't that the thing where people could get 99 Slayer from it? Like, no, that was, that was Soul Walls. Okay, that, that was, was Soul Walls. That was Soul Walls with the Slayer experience. Oh, okay, okay. So, what was, yeah. what was Fist of Guthics? Uh, that was like a PvP, like hunter versus hunted kind of thing. Okay. He has to try and stay alive as long as possible, being the person with the, I think it's like the Guthix stone. Interesting. Okay. And so, if you're in the Senny, and if you're in the Senny, you get more points for it. Those three mini games all kind of just blend into one in my mind because I just don't know anything about them. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. 
Yeah, I have a lot to learn about. Because, uh, yeah, like I've mentioned it before, many times, pe like the old school dev blogs will mention something RS3 related and they just assume everyone knows what they're talking about. I have no idea. <laughs> but, okay. I, I, I definitely like visit some like old videos of like mini games and old and old schools in, uh, in RS2 back in the day. I also shooting stars came from an old thing back then. Same with what would have been the Ents. And I don't know if you would ever want like penguins in this game or not. <laughs> the weekly penguin hunt. Oh, interesting. I was like, there are penguins. There's a what is it? A AJR? No, not AJR. That's Relica. Some. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're on about the agent's nickname. Oh yeah. No, there's that whole place. No, I was thinking of the penguins uh, on that yeah, island. That, we just murder. Yeah, that the actual the actual. Uh... <laughs> Wait, you mean the ones you actually kill? Yeah, the ones where you can kill yeah, on the... Yeah, 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 AJS. AJS, there it is. Yeah, you had it right. Yeah, the fairy ring. I know because I did that clue there yesterday. <laughs> um, I should know that. I used to know it. I just haven't done clues in so long. It's so depressing. And you're on, and you're on me not doing clues. I honestly, <laughs> honestly, I, watching drum stream and watching Jace's like weekly stream and stuff makes me so excited for the future. Like it's just, it's, it's yeah, all, that's good to you literally with all your clues. It's online. so I think back even like nine months and I was doing clues. And I was like, that was the most, that was such an enjoyable time logging in and just loving life, just being able to do exactly what I want. I bet that kind of, I mean, I know you still have your grinds to do, but I bet getting the LA just such a load off just of your back. Well, I said right now I'm just doing literally 10 pros in the meantime. Yeah. Just... I'm, doing, I'm doing like all these passive grinds that I wanted to do ages ago. I just never had a chance to yeah. take power. Like, I, actually, I actually managed to take power and update on the day of release for a change. My power from the league is still time of me until film release. So, yeah. yeah it, it felt different. I can't remember like, when I used to play. Like years back when I used to love and just do slow and chill. Yeah. And I can do that again. Yeah, that's nice. Because, like, we're completionist players, so we still have our grinds to do. But, like, getting something done that's so essential, it feels like a, like an Ellie or a Mace in my my eyes. It's just, like, you need to do that to just feel free. So. I mean, obviously, you'd, you'd argue that the Ellie's not an essential end to get there. <laughs> it is essential. I mean, you'd argue a Mace isn't essential either, but it is. It truly is. Yeah, I mean, more, more for him, actually, though, that Ellie is not, it's not a massive game changer unless you use it for the right things. Yeah, but, like, what item really is a game changer? I guess you could say Tebow or... Tebow Scythe. without a doubt and Scythe. Yeah, Tebow and Scythe are the two biggest game changers for items. They're so broken for what they are. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even say... Right I wouldn't even say a Scythe. I'd say Tebow's the only real game changer, because... Yeah, Tebow's the most well-rounded yeah. item for what it is. Yeah, and even Obviously, that, like... I even look at a T-bone, I'm like, I have zero use for that because all I plan on doing is clues and T-bone doesn't help with clues. So, like, yeah, there's no, always... No, just the Ellie, but here we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ellie, could be, Ellie could be used as Seracnus. Your switches. But True. I'm not going to be at... I'm not doing that. Yeah, don't, don't give me ideas. <laughs> no. Like I said, going back to uh, CJ's question there for Slay Brother, I think just fitting in more... Of the gaps would help with keeping like longevity sake of the game. Like for all the new players that want to play the game, they need to have things to do as well. Yeah. I said adding like the first like boss with Seracnus is a good thing for most like new players to work towards. Also introducing more things moved to free to play down the line. Could also be not sure I know they've mentioned agility could be something that could be free to play down the line. And also I know now they've made Fletching free to play. Just adding I more have... variants of people, like in the new game, like when they first start playing, would give them more idea to then branch into members down the line as well. Yeah, I'm completely neutral and just impartial on the whole free to play thing. I mean, one of the people I have in my stream every once in a while is um, what's his name? He's like a really big, like high level player when it comes to like free to play only. Tanner Dino? I don't know. Not, not Tanner Dino. Um, I haven't seen him for a little while. Um, pause. But yeah, pause. That was okay. Yeah, pause. Like, I know. Like, I gotta get one of them on the Sebe cast. I gotta, I gotta hear their, their arguments for why free to play is great because that does not. I mean, fun. I mean, I mean, the one thing I, I at least, you know, 
word, like envy when it comes to free to players, obviously it's very um easy to know like what all the metas are with, with free to play. Mm-hmm. It's very familiar in that sense. Like not simplistic, but They are simplistic though. Let's be honest. But you know like what to expect with free to play, like yeah. Like with all the grinds. Like if they ever add things to free to play, if they'd ever change like the current metas, I think most people in the free to play community would be quite happy with what they do. But if they ever break any metas that people have been, you know, used to for years, also you can see why people would obviously be kind of against it. Also, there is a good, there is a very strong community with free to play. Yeah, there is. I got to talk it's, to some of them. I don't. I have just so little knowledge with free to play. Like I say, when it comes to like you know, like metas and integrity, when it comes to like free to play, it's probably I'd say comparable to like ultimates with what they have for their community. Like they view similar kind of things where obviously it breaks trends like I said before like all the things they've added to ultimate over the years like storage and stuff I imagine you could probably compare that with like free to play and obviously you know potential skill and meta stuff that they have over the years that could end up happening yeah like I said I'd definitely love to see an insight one like pause on your cast that'd be cool to listen to I've watched his podcast he has one with his free to play CC I catch a few of the streams every once in a while, but he's usually doing skilling on the streams. So. Yeah, he's like mining out in the wilderness. Yeah, that was the last time I watched him when he was doing the tip manipulation in the wilderness. I say it's cool to see an insights of like a different community in that sense as well. Yeah. Like, I don't mind the random things to free to play if it encourages more people to become members down the line for the graph of the game. So, that's kind of what free to play is. Obviously, it's an introduction to the game for most players. True. Like, I actually came back because free to play was a thing, so I thought I'd try it again. Yeah, so I, I, I guess me that, too. Back well. again. You know, I actually got my first bond playing. F- I was uh, playing free to play, and then I went to the GE, and people were doing like the double money scamming. This is back in like 2015, <laughs> and I, me and my friend, would just like play them basically. Like we would, we would be able to <laughs> yoink like 100k from each of them. There were, it was so, there was so many people doing the double money scam in 2015. I don't know what it was. Like every single world. Every single free to play world had like at least four people doing it, and yeah, we I'm would. Pretty, I'm pretty sure it's still a thing on right on three hundred one. If you went, that's true. Yeah. So what what we'd do is I I had a friend that had like a good he had like ten mil or something, which I in my eyes was a ton, and he would oh, like I mean. he would lend me the money. So we were like we were there together, and like he would lend me the money, and I would put up ten mil, and be like, can you do ten mil? And then they'd be like, yeah. And then I'd be like, okay, let me do some tests. And so I do like ten k, twenty k. Yeah, I think I've seen videos. As well. yeah. I think I think a friend made a video on that a while back. <laughs> you just like, test them and then like, like... In, yeah, just like in like the first trades and just like yep, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, now that's literally all it came down. To. It was just like stupid, and so it took like a few hours. But yeah, we ended up making like the two mil. Co- I think bonds were like one point five mil at the time. It's pretty easy cool to get bond. I guess the cool way of saying how you got members at first time. Yeah, now was... old school was that. <laughs> I got really lucky on my main account, like because I. Uh, I got two Ranger boots at 3KC and then at 6KC. That's medium. And uh, yeah, that really helped my uh, <laughs> progress because Rangers were like 19 mil at the time, but 19 mil was like a ton. Do you reckon that was affected like your look on your iron these days? <laughs> Do you ever, like think, oh, if I didn't get a look at my min, it's probably why I'm unlucky on the iron and grinds? Nah, I tend to look pretty objectively. Even when I, like, I've had four Nightmare Pets now, I just understand, like, okay, RNG is RNG. Nothing is affected by me getting, even if I were to get, like, four Harmonized Orbs in a row, no, nothing's changed for the next kill to get a maze. Like, yeah, that, that's the way you should view RNG. I know people always say, you know. It's painful to look at it that way, and it's hard to, but, like, you gotta. Yeah. That's how I viewed all my sigils. Yep. You know, I could still get the other next kill. Yep. Doesn't change anything. I got, you know, missed the roll once, but I can have the next kill. It's just funny because I'm back in circles. So, you know, I said Expels was very dry for his um, first sigil. I don't know if it was him or if it was someone else I'm remembering, but someone that I know who went very dry on their sigils had a very lucky start on their main back in the day. And it might have been a uh, 1KC Ellie in a match. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, yeah. that's that's the dream the dream is um what's his name J- jai high some guy in solitary when i was back in solitary he we were doing a bingo and he got all three sigils he was zero kc at corp and got all three sigils in like two days i think i heard about that yeah <laughs> like he was like 150 kc and he had all three sigils and i was like what 
the fuck? Like, that is, you, you don't understand how disgustingly lucky you are. Like, how much time and heartache you've just saved. Like, yeah. God. I mean, I'll say one of my friend's mom from most recent one to finish cop, uh, very early Kill County, finished it like 580 something. So lucky. Yep. I'm lucky <laughs> to have the pet, but yeah, I have two spectrals and I'm almost 1200. But like, that's just, just, just think if I was a min, not going to the pets, I wouldn't have to have killed another 10,000 cop. Yep. Just, just think. My first pet was literally ten thousand three hundred kills ago. Jeez. My first pet. Wait, how many pets did you have? Uh, just two in the end. Oh, okay. When I was your second two. one? Uh, eighty six ninety one. Okay. And yep, I remember those numbers, man. I was there long enough to know. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I think would probably help with uh, the overall relevance of the game. Also, high end players win for, like, obviously, said combat achievements, Reds 3, potential God Wars expansions, potentially, who knows yet. Yeah. Like I said, I think a lot of people would like to see Nex as an idea, bro. Like, the actual Nex, like, kind of boss. Where you can't really solo it, so you're kind of forced to bring in people. Like, one thing I did talk about with my friend Swifty when we also before this podcast was that. A lot of constant game house has come into the game where anyone could solo it if they know the mechanics and stuff. But it's like nothing that really locks players to actually bring multiple players in. Yeah, you could argue top. But obviously, people know how to solo top if they ever want to. Yeah. But like having like actual bosses where you're locked in to bring X amount of players, regardless, you have to bring that many players in. Yeah, and I'm like, not sure. So I was talking to Whale about that, kind of like Raids 3, how like I initially felt like it should just force b team based um and then he's like no concept again that really does that but at the same time yeah. his it's just about how the game mechanics are where you can from saw anything unless it's like zuck way it'll ever hit you and you yeah. can't do anything about that yeah his view on it kind of made me think like maybe solo con i don't know maybe solo content is just better <laughs> like i always just want like a, theoretically like in my mind i want like a team-based forced thing but at the same time, solo ends up being like so much more enjoyable, at least in my eyes, for most content. Seems at the same time, also solo becomes like the meta to actually get items as well, though. Yeah. Well, See, if well. yeah, that's the thing. Well, TOB is like the perfect example of solo not being the meta, and it's still you can, you can master it. If yeah, you can, if you master, but even if you master it, it costs so much money with sweets, and like True. you'd better off with just doing master duos, like literally. The time I think, still, I think it's still really good GP now they're doing solo toss balls. So I know it's crashing now with all the items going down in price. I'm pretty yeah. I know, but... I know Chris was mentioned on stream a few times, like somewhat recently when he was doing that Max Cash deck thing with Cold One. I just but, think like, like solos take like an hour where you could just do like two duos, like <laughs> way less sweaty and just like I don't know. To be to fake even I could just do in speedy trios is pretty good GP an hour as well. Yeah, trios are yeah. You can fly. Trio's probably, the most, trios probably the most consistent for GP an hour. Yep, I think trios are tr duos or trios are so good. I guess it'd be cool to see like potential team lock things, especially with like Iron Man. But like I said, you can go like, like one person could easily go very dry on an item. <clears throat> Me probably. And then yeah, they get stuck there. All right. Crime daughter asks. Um, one sec, I gotta kill this core. Nice one shot. Up. Um, Crime Daughter asks, what keeps you motivated to continue with an item grind that you are already very, very dry on? Especially ones that already take an exorbitant amount of hours to hit the drop rate. Is there ever a point that you consider stopping at? Question for both of you. I guess we kind of covered it, but we can go back into it. Mm, I mean, like I said, knowing you want to get the item is always one motivation you always keep in your mind. Like I said, obviously having a community that obviously backs you as well is something that will always keep you driven to keep going. Yep. No, we are very, like, blessed to have a stream community that, like, keeps me going. Because there's no way I'd be grind If I had never been a streamer, yeah. there's no way I'd be continuing the mace yeah. grind. Yeah, I said that before on stream. I said I would probably still be doing cough, but I wouldn't be anywhere near the case that I am now. Yep. If I wasn't something streamed. Like, I think people, I don't feel like underestimate, like, how powerful it is to actually have a community that backs you. Yeah, it's also really people that nice. will see like watch Curtis will see the other support he gets to get a grind finished, yep. and obviously that will keep him motivated to keep going. He knows everyone wants to see him get that item. 
So that's kind of all that's kept me motivated in that sense. What keeps me motivated for the mace? I mean, I've gone dry on other things. Like I went five times raid for a TOB weapon, which took forever. Yeah, but I said again, I could I could throw in obviously my Tebow grind. Yeah, I've exactly. been down a dry ground before. I know it feels. Yeah, Tebow like at least <laughs> the at least the chambers grind is like you. It's yeah. like you're like no, like this Tebow's essential. With an Ellie, it's hard to keep going past like. You know, close to three enjoyed, times. Right. I enjoyed the race when I said James Boy one of my favorite pieces of content. Yeah. yeah, outside of like leagues and stuff. See, that's the thing. Like, if I went dry on third age, which I haven't, I've, I'm only barely, I'm only barely over rate for one piece of third age, and I've had three. But like, let's just say in the future, I go, I start going really dry for third age. I will at least be enjoying the grind, so it's not like, just yeah, straight up pain. Clues, so. Yeah. And I also didn't mind doing cough, but I found that as my way to relax. Like, I do miss doing cough. Damn. Because it was, it was just something I could just do and chill. I could talk to people and just kind of just, you know, recline yep. back. Okay. Um, is, was there ever a point that you considered stopping at for Tebow or Ellie? Not in my mind, no. But people always kept asking me if I was going to, like, give up at any time. Yeah. Again, like I said, if I didn't stream, it'd be different. Yep. No, and like I think to myself, there. What would be the KC? I mean, there isn't because I'm gonna continue till I get the mace. But like, what is literally a KC where I could stop ten thousand? Like, because at that point, you almost just feel like you gotta keep going because you're so close, but you're not any closer really. But like, you know, if I ever went, like, so right now, if I hit eight, if I hit uh like eight thousand. Nightmare solo, Casey. I it it will have then not been worth it to ever go for a mace. Yeah, like for how much Seractus I plan to do, but until that point, like it's still kind of worth it in my eyes. But yeah, after eight thousand, <laughs> if I go that dry, it is literally just gonna be, it's just gonna be pain. Uh, like it already is pain, but that, that that'll be true agony at that point, where it just wasn't even worth it to ever come here. But I've already done all that time. I mean, it's like when you asked me before, like when I kind of saw myself potentially getting the alley, I always compared it to who ranked one was at the time. So that was how, how far I wanted to ever go, which was around 7,300. Yeah. Joy, I know, 73, 73. Joy. That was his kill count at the end when he finished. Also, the alley wasn't on 73, 73, unfortunately. But <laughs> that was kind of where I wanted to always see myself try and not go any higher than. That was kind of what my motivation was to keep me going until, until I hit rank one. Yeah. Also, fortunately for me, you know, Mr. Iron Tofi also went dry while I was doing the Ellie grind. Does he so, not uh, have an Ellie still? No, he he finished it um, in November. Oh, okay. And what was his KC? Uh, thirteen thousand three hundred and six. Jesus. I was quite log like logged as a um as a command in my stream if anyone wants to see it. But if you want, I could put it in the uh, the chat if you've never seen it. To but I'm yeah. sure you've seen it at one point. No, let me see it. Give me a second. Let me go grab it. Stream manager. This. Could I get washed out to show I'm doing Tempest doing this? Yeah, that was his final walk when he finished. It is pretty insane to look at, to be honest. Let me see it. Yep. His overall look for sigils was pretty much on rate. Right. It was just that he just could never hit the one in seven. It's kind of like reminding me of looking at legs, you know? Yep. So yeah, 23, so he's. Roll. Yeah, 23 rolls. Damn. Five pets. Oh, God, that's got to hurt every single pet he gets. Do you want to know a fun fact about the pets? What? He got through them in three days. Jesus. That's he like. Got he got literally one every day for three days in a row. <laughs> that's like kind of like me with uh, Nightmare Pet. Like, it took me seven months to get my first one. Yeah. And, and then, then I kept hearing you could be a new pet. So, like, every other day, I was like, wait, you got another pet? <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. RNG, yeah. man. You'll love it. That's why I love to play the game. Right? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why we love it. God. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I want to give a little shout out to Prison Joe. He says Big Jack. I know we already kind of were talking about that before the thing, but. If he's also a big grinder as well. Prison Joe's a yeah, king. Going for that mutagen. 
great life, great personality. He's awesome. Okay, do you have any topics for me? We've covered all the Twitter posts, I believe. So, um, anything yeah. or for like you know, the most part. I can see one from one more from Yoda about divine potions, actually. Okay, I think it was one that. that we might have missed. Oh, we did. Wait, didn't he say something else as well? Did he say two things? Oh, that was, that was the cop ground that we covered first. Okay, okay, oh, I see sorry. it. I met, yeah, they're right next to each other, so I missed that. All good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, opinion about divine potions. Yes. Yeah. I don't know about slip. He says slippery slope to overload in main game. Um, do you want to see overloads? Mm. I, I like them being tied into just things you can access during like certain activities. Like, I like the idea of divines in the game. Yeah. Because you also get the permanent boost, but it's only until you have. You know, it runs out for five minutes. It's very limited. Divines are amazing. And they've. If they and also could, they're counteracted if you have bruise as well. So obviously you have to re-stat back up again to be able to access the permanent boost. Yeah, and uh, yeah, divines are very well balanced. Uh, I also just wish this would take a huge like engine rework, but I really wish when you drank a potion that starts its own minute timer. I know that's like, like... It's, like it's like on like a global thing. Like if you play with like a boost and you lose it within like five seconds. Yeah, that's just really annoying. And like I know that would take a ton of engine work and stuff to like fix that. And I don't. There'd probably be some other downsides to it somehow. But like, if you drank a potion and it lasted, all, but, yeah, yeah unless it exchange potions to have their immediate time of start, like you would with divines, then yeah, that would be amazing. And ev and everyone had yeah. It's not it's not some global potion timer or anything. It's just genuinely. Whatever potion you just drank, that's lasting a minute. Be kind of cool. In terms of like overloads, though, I I'm fine with them how they are currently are in the game. Like have them locked to certain activities. Like if they ever did Raids three, and obviously they themed it around like potentially you know the old curses, like for us like an actual prayer book, and you only have access that to in that in that own game only. I kind of like overloads being in that same aspect still, because they're literally a lot behind Nightmare Zone and you know Chambers. Yeah. Which I kind of like. I don't really want overloads coming into the game. I think divines are like the perfect alternative. In terms of other potions, I can't really think of any. Like, I'm trying to think what I used to use back in the early of those extreme potions. But again, that was just basically a slim version of overload because it was just its own potion. And I think extremes would break potential metas if they had like extreme rain potions, especially. <laughs> Yeah, that would be pretty insane. Super range. I don't know. That would definitely impact, like, going back to, like, the cult questions. If we had better potions, that alone would make a huge difference. Just to be able to hit more specs more accurately. Yeah. Be able to obviously max it at 50 every time would also be a lot better as well. But I don't know the potions they could point out. I know they've added definitely other ones from... I know I've got new ones in RS3 and stuff. I don't know if like just like the antifreeze potion on Reddit recently. I like that idea, potentially. What does that do? Does it unfreeze you from barrage? It would act like counteracts like things like the winter Todd freezing and like the, oh. uh, like the wyvern ice breath as well. That could be cool. Yeah, that would actually be like a niche useful potion. I know people have recently mentioned something to do with Fimic. I know what's happened with Fimic on Reddit, but I know that's been like a recent trend in the last couple of days. But it's like, like certain things you can also use for Fimic and Boost as well, like passive effects from fire making. Yeah, fire I've seen. That you can use on logs. I've seen those years ago, like just like even just over every few months, I'll see something like that. Yeah, I think um, I don't mind that potentially, like giving more purpose to old skills, maybe. Yeah, like I like think like potions that would affect skills that are kind of outdated. Like I said, fire making could be one that could have a good use for that if it was used in the right correct matters. Yeah. No, fire making has a lot of potential. It really still does. Um, so the kind of inspiration with what they have in RS3 of like the, like, is it, I don't know what they, they call it, like, like that boss mini hub is, where you can like all those portals to help out certain bosses. You have like an actual bonfire system in there where you can use it to like regen your stats and stuff. I don't know how I feel about that necessarily, the things that are just like kind of like game changing for PVM and stuff, but like, if you had to bring stuff with you, though, you'd obviously you'd lose less. Yeah, true. Supplies for the trade-off for that, which I think would benefit lower players more than higher-end players. 
it just seems like tedious because it's either the meta or it's not and then at that point it, yeah, when it that's, becomes that's, that's like that's like the problem with all school though yeah. obviously if it's not meta people don't usually want it yeah also if it is meta people then argue should it be meta kind of thing yeah that's that's the one tricky part with balancing that does have to all of you know tiptoeing around to make sure it doesn't you know it's, it's tricky you know I, I do feel for the mods that have had to like find content that fits and doesn't you know has these like other issues that pop up okay i'm really confused what just happened there i just divined i went to 80 <laughs> i went to 89 hp and then as soon as i went to the corp cave i was at 93 hp 93 yeah i, I mean i think sometimes still to 99 when you leave your house but i don't think you got to 93 that was the weird okay i'm gonna need somebody's gonna need to replay this luckily i'm recording i have no idea what just happened i literally was at 99 hp drank the divine in my so i drank the i drank the potion i drank the rejuvenation rejuvenation pot then drank a divine dose like right then before i hit the jewelry box so i was at 89 and then all of a sudden i was at 93 by the time i w got to corp i don't know what the hell is happening to this game i think i just glitched something also i'm way past 200 pgs damage i'm just distracted okay we're gonna have to watch that back but anyway <laughs> um i don't know what's happening to this game it's bust something with the corp caves glitched i think okay to be fair there was a bug when i found with the update on the first day with it all what was it if you uh log out like disconnect at any point during your specs cult forgets who did the specs oh god is that still a I thing i don't know if the changed it since then but i obviously logged it to flipping obviously submitted a bug report oh that's gonna be awful so, yeah, I, I, lost, I lost an entire kill because one of the things I used to do is I used to do just over six hours of core. On the oh, stream. yeah. And also, I did like my last specs and then re logged, then do the kill. Oh, okay. Also, it also gave me the warning when I went in. I was thinking it might just be a visual thing, so I just re logged to a different mode and then back. That's and obnoxious. Just, so I lost my kill. So. I should test that out like first first spec, go spec, log out, and just spec it again, see if it still does it. No, well, I, I found out first hand. So. <laughs> yeah, yikes. <laughs> You know, in blessing hindsight, the next day we got the Ellie. So, you know, go figure. <laughs> I lost a kill and then got the Ellie the next day. Can't complain. Okay. Do you have any um, topics that you have, either for me or for both of us or anything? Uh, I guess it kind of ties in what we said about, like, before we also went with the recording. Like, in terms of, like, things have added to the game that have kind of affected Iron Man Metas for PBM and stuff. Like, all the new that have come out in the game over time. Obviously, the blow pipe is the biggest change oh, we had. Yeah. And I'll see if that ever changes now with you know, potential reworks. It's, I guess it's trying to find what would be a good balance to fit beyond that afterwards, I guess. Because I know you're very much on like the both PBM and the skill inside, so I'll say I know you're very much towards just Nightmare only right now. But... Yeah, just clues. I'm just clue based, but I have to do. I don't know. I've got to do my chores before I enjoy life. Gotta do my chores. <laughs> but yeah. Blowpipe, I am a big big fan of the nerf. I think it's needed. It's just, it's just, it's just now needing to find the next things to affect. Not not really replace it, but like, you know, fill in the gaps. Obviously, it may miss out on by being, you know, best where it was. Although, well, fair though, I'm pretty sure it still be best in thought for every situation more often than not still. It's just not going to be anywhere as powers it used to be compared to like crossbow and stuff. Yeah. I'd love them. I'd love them to actually add potentially what they have in RS3 in terms of like separating the types of range damage and have things that are specialist in one category over another, and have things weak to one style, not a different one. Yeah, like like heavy range and light range kind of thing. That I think was posted on Reddit a while back. So things like darts, knives of would obviously classes the light ammunition. Things like bolts, javelins of would classes like you know. That could be cool. Yeah, I wish ballistas were like used more they could like really yeah destroy stuff like that's like really tanky that that could be cool i know it's definitely a thing they have an rs3 because i know that with like magic and stuff like certain spells will do better against other things than different spells interesting and also that would then it'd give more options to add niche items in that sense too like blister may become like a meta for something down the line if they had something where it could really pierce certain npcs more than others just ballisting uh bandos doing like that little run range method just 
ballisting and that's like best in slot that'd be that'd be pretty dope <laughs> I, I mean also there's potential with things like that to do it like if they were going to shake up like certain things with pvn adding more variance to certain methods would also help yeah it revives some old items especially if i want to revive like some other items in the like they avoid with like the mists and long swords and stuff and whatnot like, there is potential with what they could do with it it's just Search me there for a sec, uh, but okay. it's just finding something that could fit, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of changes I want. There's like a lot of standard spells I want to have changed. Bosses to become weak to certain, like the fact that fire giants, like the best strike spell to use is fire <laughs> strike against a fire giant rather than like water. That's, that's something they've addressed in RS3. I'm pretty sure it's weak to water spells now. Yeah, like, they be... have an extra damage effect from that. That'd be cool. But they'd have, that, it's like have it's but they have a lot of things that have definitely fixed a lot of yeah it's such a issues. big rework though it's like takes so much time and people wouldn't even want that the devs to take that time but and then they I mean, just, butcher it or something something would happen but I mean, having things like secondary class of like certain weapon types would definitely at least fix some of the problems there but i'm not like an expert when it comes to balancing the game like i'm far from it yeah we need bc I, guppy I, I, to be I, I, a j mod of like potential with the game yeah giving more you know options for you to use would be kind of cool obviously right now everyone kind of goes for like the same kind of like linear path when it comes to like item grids to go for yeah no that's true well not yeah. everyone but yeah most people there is a certain meta but there's always going to be a certain meta like a certain route that's just the best hard to change it's, it's just because it's like more the things down the line yeah and i'll see yeah that could definitely happen with obviously the rebounds and stuff down the line in the future they could give themselves more tiers to add things into they should add like a hand cannon people really want to see the hand cannon there i didn't even but know think, wait yeah. is that a thing in rs3 it was a thing in rs2 when they added the dragon pickaxe oh interesting i just it was I, it was like how the ballista you should be able to like cannonball. yeah you should be able to like chisel down cannonballs make them a little bit smaller then like, I think that's what I think that's what they were. I think you have to make specialist um, hand cannonballs for it. Interesting. They were fun to use, but they had the chance of actually sometimes breaking. That was like their niche behind them. So sometimes they could just break, like a, like an actual cannon would. And you have to like fix them. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. Interesting. Was there anything you'd want to add from like RS2 days? Like do you remember still, Serna? I don't remember any. Like literally, I played in 2004 to 2007, and I was a complete noob. And then I, I quit for eight years. They've done nothing since like old school. Then. <laughs> yeah, no, I I only know old school really. I don't know much about RS3 and stuff. I've learned more because of people talking about it, like you and Defy J talked a lot about it. Things I never heard about. Is there anything you currently know of like RS2 slash three that you'd love to see in old school down the line? If you could pick something. <laughs> I literally have no I literally have nothing <laughs> like genuinely. I, I literally can't remember. I mean, one thing I do want that's nostalgic that probably isn't even good for the game is I want uh, either Mithril Man mode to come out or the GE to be taxed so regular trading becomes a thing again. But I think I've already discussed that kind of and it's almost like... It's just, I remember when that got really high really on Reddit years and years back, Mithril Man mode. Mithril Man mode. That would be such a legendary... If they came out with any Snowflake mode, that would be it. Yeah, I think if actually, yeah, going back to like what so was, I think that could be the one thing they could potentially look at, I guess, if there was a reason to do it. It'd definitely bring back the much more old school community, I guess, that would want to just do like generalized trading. Also, you might see Valley Park popularized again, or, you know, Varak West Bank potentially, like the old days. Yeah. Like, I remember trying to trade at the Falador, um Park. It was horrible as a noob. <laughs> I love uh, Falador was... Park where they trade like rares and stuff. Just... It's kind of crazy what happened to res in RS3 these days, man. They're so expensive. Yeah. Why, wait, why am, I, why am I tagging myself to the oh, I mean, an idiot. I just randomly tagged myself to the totem pole. Um... <laughs> uh... Yeah, there's nothing really that I would have. Ooh, I almost no, died no. again. That's, that's fair enough. 
Um, yeah, is there anything else? We're we're approaching four hours, and now my my hosting yeah, I was service. Yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say we've been going for like three and a half hours. So far. No, we've been. I mean, we've been good. We've covered all topics. Luckily, I'm just making sure. But yeah, what for those listening, my hosting service, and I think I've already mentioned it, but after you pass four hours, if you don't make a part two, it just the quality severely gets reduced, unfortunately, nowadays. So I got to just watch it. But um, yeah, is there, I mean, for the final thing for me, at least, uh, is there any shout outs you want to give to your, uh, I mean, I know you're already shouting out your community. You love your community. I love my community. But um, is there any specific shout outs you want to give? Mm. I feel like if I don't say some people, I'm going to get <laughs> thinking for it. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as you start naming one person or like a few yeah, people, then people feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How about this? You I'm, shout out everyone, but you just give a couple names of people like just or okay, you know, I'm not gonna tell I you. Mean, I, mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I'll say they'll they'll know who they are. Okay. Like I've always been really appreciative of all the ones I've always spoken to, like especially like daily as well when I've like not been streaming and stuff. Yeah. And I tell people that I you know talk to in game as well, like. Like, I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for those guys, genuinely. Yeah. So I'm always really, really appreciate of that. And I'll see long may it continue at the same time. You know, we're still growing. Uh, like I said, we've, we've been in similar boats ourselves, to be fair, like me and you say, when it comes to, like, what we've had on, like, streaming and stuff and, like, inside the game. Yeah. Very, like, similar kind of paths. Yeah, I agree. Um, well, for those listening... Uh, Jack, I, we didn't even hardly cover this, but Jack's obviously a streamer, as you've been able to tell throughout the whole podcast. But um, he streams. I will link his stream in there. And he has recently completed the LA grind. He's continuing on to TOB and then to is it afterward. Is it Nightmare or after? Uh, it's Challenge, Challenge Red Pets, probably. Challenge Red Pets. Okay, that's a good decision. Delay yeah, Nightmare as far that. as possible. Yeah, I think everyone wants me to delay it as long as possible because yeah. I know what's going to happen if I go there. Well, guys, go give Jack a follow. Uh, I'll also link your Twitter. And then is there any other links you would like me to? Uh... Uh, that's kind of the thing I really use. I mean, I don't know about Discord. I don't know if that's me if you want to put in there or not. But yeah, I mean, anything that you would like to have linked, I can link. Uh, I, think, I think just the streaming Twitter is fine. I mean, I better use Twitter as it is. I need to get used to using that more often. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Time, so. Literally, even just posting like a go live thing, like I've seen it. It, it works, man. Just the little I go know, live. I, I, just, I, just, I just try and refrain from doing that because I don't want like, just fill everyone's food <laughs> with me. Oh, you know, I'm like, guys, you know. Just, you, you just got to do it. You just got to. That's what it's like. I, I was like, no. oh. <laughs> no, listen, dude. Like, I was like, I'm never going to do that. And then I started doing it. I was like, now I'm addicted. I can't stop. So maybe it is a good thing to never start. But yeah, it's addicting once you start doing the go live posts. You know, I said that it's just, it's pretty like when I stream, like, I always stream around the same time every day. That's true. You got to schedule. Always, I, I don't know what those I was are. extremely consistent when it comes to that. So. People that kind of know me know when to expect me to be alive anyway. I don't talk about tweeting that usually. Yeah. I guess it would bring in some tension with people that sometimes just don't. Yeah, it helps know, like, me to, like, whenever anybody else posts their go live, I'll usually click it. I'll be like, oh, they're live, shit. Because I'm bad at skit. I'm bad at keeping. I'm not, like, a <laughs> regular in people's streams usually. I'll just pop in here and there. Nah, I, I feel not. I mean, like I said, whenever I host people, I usually try and stay on for a little bit. And, you know. Yeah. I always want to actually, you know, spot people that actually, you know, send rares to. And if people that I send tend to lurk a lot, I was like being there for at least a bit of the stream before I head off to Ben stuff. Humble man. All right, Jack, it was an absolute pleasure talking to you. I don't know how this has already lasted almost four hours. I literally looked over like 20 minutes ago. I was like, Jesus Christ, we are. <laughs> I don't know how we talk. Like, I don't know how all my guests, we just talk so much and it feels like it's been 20 minutes. But I'm fucking up fun. It's yeah. the same guess. Like, I, I feel like we definitely don't one of these down the line. No yeah, problem. no, we're <laughs> I. That's what I'm excited for. I'm excited for the repeat guests. Believe it or not, like I'm excited for new guests, but I'm also excited for the repeats, like the from a year from now, seeing like the progress and stuff. So cool to no, see. It should, it, should, it should be good to actually see like a season two of like some uh, favorite guests that you've had. Yeah, you know, like multiple people at one time. Like I know you said you probably go try and refrain from like multiple people on like one like Saber cast, but. Yeah. I think you probably got the right chemistry with a couple of people, like from like that maybe like all know each other. Yeah, no, it could work. I just I'm nervous, but as soon as I do one, I I'll, I feel like I'll feel a lot better about it. But yeah, the one on one, it'll go really good. Yeah, if you got the right chemistry with the right amount of people in there, 
I'm sure you could easily structure it so it wouldn't feel like it's going to be a complete overload of everything. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I appreciate your time and hope you guys enjoyed listening. And a couple things just real quick. Not sure who I'm going to get on. We've had two guests I previously asked that weren't able to do it this week. Jack was originally planned for April, but he got on early. But um, So I'm not sure who's planned for this next week, but um, just little advertisement exclamation patreon in the chat if you would like to support the sebe cast and there will be a link in the description if you'd like to more details in the description but um hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you next week take it easy take it easy everyone <laughs> peace <laughs>